Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna do a little bit of Isaac for today. Uh, yeah, make some progress hopefully, and that'll probably be it. But hope everyone's doing well. Hey, Nikto, and anyone else in chat. Um, man, last week was just technical issues, technical issues, technical issues. And for those that don't already know, like, man, OBS. <laughs> Every update they've done to version 28 has just brought some sort of issue. Um, they've had to revert to an older version of OBS. Still version 28, one that worked. Because my... My footage that I recorded, uh, was coming out green. And the moment I went back to the old version, hey, it's fixed. Alright. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upgrading OBS again. That's just it. Anyway. Hopefully no technical issues today and we just get some runs in. Um, I mean, I think it was Apollyon that I wanted to finish. And it's just a standard run, so let's aim for that. I just had a very good pizza, so I'm, I'm a bit full. <laughs> just kind of settling in. Uh, you're not sure. What's the worst that can happen? Okay. Okay, I got my health back. It's fine. That's a single stat. We go for two stats. Provides less than the individual belt, but still. Probably more worth it to get stats. So yeah, this should be straightforward as long as I have health. News. Oh, sick. All right, this is going to be a good run. I like Tech Zero, it's an interesting item visually. All right, let's go. No alternate path necessary. Oh boy. I've always been curious about... Hold, hold that thought, hold that thought! Damn it. Ah, 
these rooms. Hello, gruesome boss. How's it going? Uh, yeah, an item like Dunce with this would be pretty cool. It's probably one of the few times that Dunce would be decent. As I would assume it would kind of do this weird arc. Man, even with the movement speed, that still hit me. Ugh. I don't want to risk running into it and it growing big again. Oh, no, come on! Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. That's enough. Uh, yeah, I'm not risking it. Okay. Health, please. That would be great. Oh, what? Oh, okay. That's a 1% planetarium. Uh, game, please. Oh. Oh, crap. Game, please. I'm not sure if that was on point. Okay, it's not there. Uh, I'm gonna absorb it. This is the worst one. It's Mars. Pretty sure. It's not a good one, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Isaac. I'm pretty sure it's Mars. I just need to see the icon. I already know what it does. That is Mars, yeah, so no. That one is just detrimental, unfortunately. Um, give me a sec. Uh, come on, please be here. No, it's not here. I was kind of hoping I could maybe find the secret room and then re-roll it, but yeah, there's no chance of a Perth right now. Okay, consume. Sad. But I've used Mars too many times to know that it, it's not good. I don't like it. It causes more problems than it helps. Don't they spawn touching one room? That's... Yeah, there's two rooms that spawn. There's one that's... Adjacent to two rooms, and then there's another one where it's adjacent to no rooms. The one that's adjacent to no rooms, that one is more likely to be uh, a dark room. That can contain runes. You can get that as a particular... Room possibility. Whereas in the other one, um... It's a keeper in the middle of the room, and it's either, like, rocks, treasure chests, or mushrooms in the middle. So the reason I was looking for the other one was, yeah, I was hoping I would get the room that has the runes, and Perthro would be in there, and I could re-roll it, so. 
that was the train of thought there. But unfortunately, it, it did not pan out that way. It was probably up the top. Yay, no devil deals ever. I don't know why, but when I play this character, I always seem to have health issues. Or at least as of late. Oh, this is not a good room. Okay. Thanks, game. I'll get right on that. Please, help. Oh man. <laughs> it doesn't want to give me health. Trying to get the static to hit it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm clenching a little. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the one that requires me to get hit, so. <laughs> it's not giving me damage stat. <laughs> Ooh, that almost got me. <laughs> okay, please let there be health. Okay. There we go, unclench. There's padding now. Yeah, I don't know, the confidence isn't exactly high on this one so far. Mainly because I have base damage and not really a whole lot going on. Stop it! That's enough bullet hell out of you. Uh oh. Uh 
Hold up. I see text in the corner of my eye. I can't look. Okay. <laughs> hey, virtual hugging. Thank you so much for the four months, dude. How's it going? Okay. I didn't look. I, I was being a good player and focusing on the game. I did the right thing. Okay, good. One more and we got spawn. Oh, that's that's great. That's great. This is one of the best things to happen to Apollyon. I think I'm moving a little too good for my own good. Oh, whatever, dude. Okay. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> I, I'm not like, okay, two things. One, thank you so much for the, uh, the sub gruesome boss, but well, Apparently that triggered a hype train. Okay. Or at least one's approaching for... For that. Twitch is so weird, like... I've had more than that happen before and it, it hasn't done it. Um, oh, I have to come back. But thank you, I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> I'm all right. Just, just dodge the bullets. This is nothing. I've gone through worse. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Wait, does Monster Manual last the whole floor now? Okay, at any rate. They are now part of our being. So we got a free KO. I just gotta remember the Bible's part of it and to not accidentally use it on Satan. Um, this is a tough one. Should try. Oh, ah. <laughs> Come on, that should not be allowed to happen. That should not be allowed to happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's... Come on, come on. Didn't even give me a second to move. Just, uh, the thing spawned directly on, on top of me, and the ball killed me instantly. What does the consume do? It does two things. So if the item is an equipment, something that goes in the top left, it consumes it and it becomes part of the item. So anytime I use the void, it uses that item effect. Um, and you can store as many of them as you want. So like, let's say you have the Yum Heart and um, the Book of Belial consume it then when I use the Void, it'll... it'll make you heal with Yum Heart and use Book of the Belial. And then if you consume a... an item that typically gives you stats for it, for whatever reason, um, it'll give you two random stats to go up. So, like, take this item, for example. It's not that great. If I grab it, you know, it'll do what it needs to do. Or I consume. Watch the left-hand side. So I got damage up and luck, which, good. So it's like, if you get items that you don't particularly like, um, you can choose to consume them. Or if there's use items that are useful, you can choose to consume them, so then they're part of your item. So. In general, like, let's say there's a a belt 
you'd want to consume the belt as opposed to take it because the belt only gives you speed up, but consume gives you two stats up. So it's useful for when you get like lipstick or belt, things that only grant you plus to one stat. Um, you can do interesting stuff with it and you can make this item pretty powerful if you're stacking a bunch of stuff. I can't believe that happened. Honest. Ah! <laughs> I'm not on point. Honestly. I need a bomb, please. I said, you know what? I got what I asked for. I just didn't specify what kind of bomb. Aha. Okay, so here's the thing. I have a choice. I think I'll do this. I could consume it for stats or take it for the money, but I think this is a good move. Better loot from chests. That's pretty decent. Oh no. I hate how they sometimes erratically deviate from the straight path they're meant to travel. Like that! <laughs> I don't know when they changed that, but oh, it's one of those annoying little changes. Uh, that is eye drop. I'm gonna do that. Because that's just tear up on one eye, I believe. It's not really that great. Oh, no. Okay. Why am I constantly just on the edge of death? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm no longer on the edge of death. There are some double-edged uh, sword type effects to consuming. You just gotta make sure that you don't consume stuff that uh, may cause you problems, like the IV bag. As it means every time you use the void, you're gonna take damage. I'd rather consume that than take the bombs. I don't know. It's, I get that it adds poison effects, but I find myself using bombs for utility as opposed to killing bosses or enemies, so... I feel like I'd get more from stats. Okay, yeah, I mean... 
anything's useful. <laughs> now the speed of the shot is throwing me off a little. Alright, there we go. There it is. Okay. And with any luck, these chests will be good because we got the key. Okay, um, yeah, so instead of range up, I'm gonna try and go for the consume, but I don't think I'll get to, unless there's a battery in the shop, which I'm gonna check now. Hopefully. There isn't, and this is Joker, which I guess we'll use on the next floor if it doesn't pan out. Uh, I'll just use strength to fight. Then, I got no choice here, it's not going to recharge in time, so let's just grab it. It's not the end of the world, but... Would have been cool. Another range up? <sighs> really? Um, there's, there's no real way. Like, I just have to take it. Oh, okay, I guess. I guess. Fine. If we get the transformation, I suppose that makes it a little more worth it. money until I'm sure that thing's dead. Alright, I guess I got my my health back, so it's all good. I'm not playing well today. <laughs> I'm better than this. Ugh. Dice room, okay. This could be useful. Because if it's like re-roll yourself it's probably worth doing I don't really have anything interesting so alright I'll bite. What is this? Uh, okay. Reroll items on the floor. Alright, so... We'll just pick up a couple. I think what I'm gonna do is just go around and then come back. Yep, that's fine. Okay, 
Hopefully with a high enough luck stat, the cold will be good. Oh no. Oh, this room. It's okay, this- I have... the Joker card in case I don't get the room. Um, okay, pick this up. Don't touch the items. And here's another one I can do. This is just so they re-roll, and then we can potentially get something else. Um, let's do that as well, because I can drop the card. Only take the big one. ground. Oh, this is dangerous. Okay. Oh no. Shit. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna have to use the Joker card. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, we need health. Alright. Joker. Joker. Body. Sorry, sold on body. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess around here. I'll most likely consume the key. Just so I can get the extra stats, I mean... Okay. Now, let's go do this. Possibly. Okay. 
Um, yeah. I mean, take the key, but everything else. Fuel to the fire. Okay. Let's see how this pans out. Experimental pill. HP down, <laughs> but luck up. Okay. I mean, I'd say overall I did well with that. Actually, I think the way this works is like it's only items in that room. I may have wasted my time a little, but whatever. Yeah, okay. Still. I need damage. <laughs> I've only gotten the damage stat once. I mean, luck is nice because I got something that is tied to luck. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, oof. Um, yeah, just take it. It's my lunch. Easy freebie. unfortunate. What an annoying room that one is. Had a whole lot, a lot of luck with these rooms. Sure, I might use that. Uh, hmm. Uh, the pills haven't been great, so I guess kind of makes sense. my own fault. 
kind of walked into that one. Hey, that's a good item. Okay, I'm going to use this before I consume it. Pretty much just that. Zoom. Ooh, shit. I know how this I know how to read these maps now. This is going to be interesting. It's strange. It's not highlighting it yet. Oh, yeah, we can do this. There we go. Come back through. I want to consume this. It gives us something interesting to do. Another stars, really? Okay. Like, you kind of learn how to read these maps a little. I'm just not sure I'll be able to charge it necessarily um mm. I guess I can this oh okay well that was nice of them as a strategy. I may as well use this card. Oh, that's a little unfortunate. See y'all. <laughs> Alright. And I just collect what a stray health is around. Oh, that works. I can 
also do this. I don't want to prolong this fight. Uh, take it. That is going to be a jewel consume. Okay. And we can hit ourselves against this again. Do I spawn them each time I consume? What, the angel? Nah, that was... Bombing the rock. You get a key piece from killing the angel. So instead of picking it up, I consume it. So then I get the extra stat. Because I'm not really interested in um, doing the angel stuff. I'd rather take the extra stat. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, you know what? May as well do this. Gives me an extra bomb. Okay. Oh, neat. I'll keep that around. Unfortunate that the stats haven't been tear up, they've been shot speed up mainly. That's cursed eye, which we don't want, so I'm gonna do that. And then this will be interesting how this forms. Guess. We've got a battery charge as well, so I'll be able to do some exploration. Okay. 
Okay, let me see if I can read this. Oh, so that did lead there. Okay. I mean, in the interest of that, that worked. The entire concept of this is kind of cool, but... Reading the map can be a little bit of an ordeal. I'm not sure I've got this correct, even. Wait, the familiar? No, because the familiar is, um... It's not an active item, it's a passive item. Basically, if the item goes into the list on the right, you just get stats out of it. If it goes in the top left, you get its power. I haven't quite figured out how the red rooms work, but... It's sort of like... There is a hidden room within the red rooms. So the red rooms kind of appear where there aren't normal tiles. You can generate one. And... From what I understood of it is... Oh shit, I used the wrong one. You keep trying to find... ...the secret room, and I think the way I figured it out last time was like... ...you kind of find out where... ...the treasure room can fit in the inverse map. It's, it's a bit hard to read, like... ...I think eventually I will figure out how it works. I could look up the wiki, but I think it's a lot more fun to figure it out myself. But yeah, I mean, they're extra rooms. Sometimes they can give you items, but there is one treasure room specifically to that red area. Someone will be able to give you a better explanation about how it works than I can. I found it. That's it. So this is it. There we go. And it's a great item. So this is what the coveted room you're looking for. So let me look at this. Yeah, I mean, it seems to sit on the same coordinate from what I can see of this. Like, you can see, like, if we call it X and Y, 
Um, it's sitting on the same Y position. Which might not always be the case, I don't know. Like, I think I'd need to see more of it to be able to deduce it better, but anyway, got it. The only thing you got to be careful of is you can actually go out of bounds with it, and then you go into, like, one of those error rooms. Oh, that's a shame it doesn't open that up. Alright, that was a damage up, so nice. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. That's a bit of a dick move. I thought the shield would protect me. Um, in that case, hold up. We want to go in here first. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Yeah, I want to get some soul hearts, so I'll be here for like a minute. I'll be drinking my water bottle. Okay, that's good. Good. One more I think will do. I don't want to spend all my money on this. Okay. Um. Hold up. I know how I'm going to do this. Uh. Drop these two. Well, all of this, really. And then anything I don't want, kind of... I ace of hearts it, and hopefully it'll... Give me what I want. Okay, well that's unfortunate. Kinda got the planetarium thing. Ah. Uh, I mean, the way it works is you skip item rooms. And for every item room you skip, that's a plus 20% chance. There are other items that passively give you an extra percentage chance. I believe the deck of cards is one of those items. But because I found one at the start of this run, that means the, ch the chance is always going to be 1%, so it's like, unlikely. Pretty much the moment you find one, it resets it um, to 1%, and then it stays at 1% regardless of what you do. Alright, I think, I mean, that was a good result, I think. From the fortune teller? I don't think so. I think you can get the crystal ball item, which then gives you passive chance to get a planetarium. I mean, maybe it can teleport you. I've never seen it before, so. Don't know.
The crystal bowl. Yeah, so then... Okay, so now this is the part where I need to know how to read this map, so... Let's go with the theory that it's on the same X or Y coordinate. It's like there's two places it could possibly be. Like, it could possibly be here. Okay. But see, I don't know how the map l is laid out. I'll try my theories and then eventually I think I will figure out how it works. Oh shit, I didn't open it. Oops. That's my bad. I need that's the one downside is I need to use it pretty much directly next to where I wanna go. Kind of a waste. Okay. Ah, uh, that's... Damn it. Oh, I wasted the hangman. Hang on. Let me not waste this double room. Oh shit, it's... Huh. Okay. Interesting. I'm still looking at how this could possibly work. Uh, that's just stuff on the floor, so just do it. do the same thing again. I don't want to waste these double rooms. Ow. Oh. Okay. Quickly, quickly. There it is. All right. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I can't really say that I've figured out how it works yet, but I sort of have a method to how to look. That's a shame. Really eerie room. Shit. Oh no, but I got... I should do this because I've got free keys anyway. It's 
kind of hard to predict where it would be. I don't think I can absorb that because that would mean my bombs will never go off. I think the best I can hope for is... Okay, hang on. The super secret room. Would it be indicated by... Like if it doesn't generate a red door. Not... Well, okay, like this, for example. Hmm. Yeah, weird. Not really sure how to approach it. <laughs> I have to go back and absorb, uh, the punching bag item that was random and free. I just can't reach it. There we go. Knife? I mean, kinda. Doesn't exactly look like it's connected to anything. Alright, I think we're done here. I don't know if I can be bothered looking for the rooms later. It's a bit sad that the item I got was the remote detonator, but whatever. Excellent. Very happy about that one. How far have I progressed? Uh, excluding the twins who shall not be named. I've unlocked it. I've unlocked all the tainted characters. I just, I'm not going to touch them until all the base characters are kind of done. So I'm working my way around all the base characters. The last thing I got to do with uh. Our friend here is just get the negative done. Everything else is done. I don't know, like two thirds of the way. Something along those lines. Um, all right. I mean, yeah, I haven't played any of the Tainted characters yet. I'm reserving that for when I have cleared everything, and then I'm just only going to play Tainted characters for a while. As for the twins, I have played um, them, like, once or twice through a daily, and... I mean, okay. I can see how they're unique, but 
the just kind of clunky to play, and I don't know. I'm not sure I'm going to like it. I'm pretty convinced I'm not going to. Just based on the initial impression. It's kind of like a, a cool idea, but I don't think it's well executed. just gonna try <laughs> like at this point it doesn't hurt to give it a go who knows I might get lucky I'm saving the Emperor card for later. Like, it's not vital I do it here. Sure. Just pick a random room and use it. I'll do the double room just in case I need to go through it. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. The, twist ha the twins have the best unlocks, I would imagine, but it doesn't change how I feel about them. But yeah, I want to be surprised by that, so I'm not really asking questions about the twins or what they give you or anything like that. But yeah, let's keep the spoilers to, like, uh, a minimal level, if you don't mind. Like, it's fine. The names of the items don't mean anything, but let's just leave it at that. As I want to experience that blindly. Hmm. Wait, there's- oh, that's the challenge room. It's alright. It's normal. I mean, yeah, I just imagine it's going to be one of those things like how the Lost used to be before they gave him Holy Mantle to start with. It was just, you just had to keep doing it until you win. So, it's alright, I'll get there eventually. The Tainted Lost, yeah, I mean, I know, I read about the description when I unlocked them. It's pretty much how the loss used to be, but with the extra spiciness of, like, you don't get defensive items, period, which... Yeah, I don't know. I think, honestly, the one I'm gonna have trouble with is just the alternate path. I don't think the beast will cause me that many problems, like, it, it will be difficult, but I just don't like the bullet hell of, uh, the alternate mom fight, I don't know. Oh, but then that got me this. Do I like mods? I haven't checked them out in a very long time. Um, last I checked them out was when Afterbirth Plus first came out. But that was uh, on PC. I'm playing on PlayStation right now because... One, I wanted to give my PS5 more of a use. And two, it's a clean slate starting again. I can see the achievements and everything. And keep track of it better when starting a fresh file. So, currently can't do mods. Mm. 
so nah. So, I mean, this isn't going to be worth consuming. Oh, yeah, I mean... I guess the block projectile's fine. Uh, there's not a whole lot else I can do here, I don't think. Yeah, I'll just keep going. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather not do anything to hinder my own run. <laughs> There's a time and a place for it, not when I'm trying to progress. I'm not instilling suffering on myself tonight. Oh no. Get in that corner. Maybe you can get me something for free. I thought, yeah, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Sorry to say. I'm more interested in just winning and getting it done. Okay, well, I can't break in there. The sooner I get this done, the sooner I can do, like, the tainted characters and some of the harder stuff. And then start messing around. As well, look. almost autopiloted <laughs> like an idiot uh, just, I never grab well I guess the negative is something I grab more these days but not in the context of like at this point
shot. Ah, oh, come on. That was just bad timing. I just gotta get across the line. Uh, nah, 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 and uh, no. Okay. Kind of figured. Yes. Nice. Good find. This is going to be interesting because it will give me more of these rooms. Oh, what was I thinking there? I thought they were going to leap. Jeez. do anything for me, does it? Spin! Alright, leave it. <laughs> Absorbing it is pointless, I think. Was that? No. Hmm. Okay, hang on. If that's there, would that mean this? No. I mean, wife is definitely carrying me. Uh, I'm aware of that. <laughs> I think this shot is causing me more problems than being helpful. But I didn't really have much damage at that point, so that's the only reason I picked it up. But I needed the damage. It's not just the firing speed, it's it's the arc as well, like, you kind of have to set at a particular distance to land the shot. It requires a bit of finesse. It's 
probably not worth risking just generating more rooms. I reckon just get to the end. Oh, okay. This might improve the situation a bit. these things. Okay, good. More damage. Yeah, I mean, against the lamb, I'm, I'm pretty much going to run straight next to it. Oh, no. I can't back out, can I? No, no backing out allowed. <laughs> I just don't want this thing to be an assassin and take some health with it. Alright, sweet. Good. Alright, I think we're fine now. Damn it, didn't predict that well. Thank you, quad shot. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. This has to be the end here. I mean, I guess double strength, yeah. Okay, there we go. Although, mind you, I think it'll make my hitbox too big. Because it'll grow me twice, it's probably not the best idea. Let's just do this. I don't know, maybe I'm just conscious about it. Alright, cool. Uh, no rerun. That's a polyon done. Fixed. Hitbox doesn't change up, only down. Hmm. Okay, how about I find it distracting? That's a better way to put it. So it may as well be like my hitbox is actually up. Okay, I mean, getting there. I don't really feel like doing the lost. Um, ugh, I haven't done any keeper. But again, I have to be in the mood for that one. Uh, this seems straightforward enough. It's what, alternate path and boss rush? Okay. And, of course, uh... Oh. Pfft. Delirium. Sorry, I don't care about streaks. I mean, there's probably a lot of stuff I don't have. It's just a result of a fresh file. I haven't done the challenges. Aside from the one that grants you Yera and, uh, Perthro. So then the only two runes you can find are Yara and Perthor, it's pretty legit.
I mean, it's fine. I can do without it. Oh, yeah, and I think I actually got Black Rune as well, so... Black Rune, Perthro, and Yera. Those are the only runes I can find currently. Because I haven't unlocked the other ones out of choice. I mean, okay, Dagars is not bad. But I'd much rather, like, just have those ones. Blank rune and shard have all the runes, but a shard doesn't count. It's not the same thing. It's like a lesser rune. And blank rune, I'm pretty sure you have to unlock it. I don't think I've seen a blank rune on my runs. Like, it's a, rune, a lesser rune effect that's similar, but not the same thing. Uh, that's a bit of a shame, that starting item. Or it could be really good, because the hive mind would power it up. It's just now I need... I need money. Hmm. Yeah, with the hive mind, this might be really sick. Is there any way for me to get... Okay, two coins somehow. Your four ads in. Okay, listen. Here's the thing. With about ads in Twitch, we don't really have any control over how many we can show. If I could disable them, I would. But, like, the major drama with Twitch right now is just Amazon is doubling down on ads, and, uh... Like, we don't really get much of a say in it, unfortunately. Damn it. I really wish I could do something about it, but I can't. And that's amongst all the stuff where, like, the... Oh, thank fuck. Alright, cool. Alright, just to say it again, I have no control over how many ads get shown. It's, it's annoying. I can't disable ads at all. I would if I could. So, I mean, that's, the, that's what they're encouraging. Listen, if you watch a lot of Twitch... What I recommend you do is, so you're not subbing to people constantly, look at Twitch Turbo, because that's more or less like YouTube Premium. It's a viewing experience without ads. You don't get a sub, but you get to view every single um, stream without ads. As, although I do appreciate the support, but yeah, that's, if you watch a lot of Twitch, that's your best avenue. Um, it's not perfect, but that's as best as you can do. But yeah, right now, the big thing is um, a lot of streamers are annoyed at Twitch for a multitude of reasons. And one of them is like uh, the revenue split and the response they gave and then saying, oh yeah, um, we're going to show more ads to people. So to be honest, I've been considering doing stuff on YouTube for a while. And it's kind of like giving me more reason to try that. Um, Heavy Donor, hello. How long have I been playing Repentance? Uh, good question. Probably like three months, properly. I did get it when it released, but then I stopped playing it because um, I wanted to do a fresh file and picked it up again recently. Dented rock, I know, but there's, I don't have bombs. As you'll note, the big zero, the big fat zero. <laughs> but on the other hand, this is going to be an interesting build because I have the hive mind with nugget. 
Seems like a lot of people are trying to go there now. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely not for everyone. Um, the biggest thing is, it's not the same as Twitch where you do a live stream and that's it. Like, you need to do YouTube content. Um, so I've kind of been talking with my, my moderator, um, who's volunteered to help me out a bit. And we're gonna do a trial run on YouTube. Not not yet, but sometime soon. And uh, I mean, most of the regulars here have been super supportive about it, and they say they'll follow me regardless of what I stream on. So that's always nice. But I mean, just watching the next month, like some of the larger streamers who are affected by the pay cut um, move. And also, you bought Rebirth, that's your first Isaac game. Cool. Vanilla Rebirth, that's going to be an experience, because you're going to have some of the... the stuff that was, whilst easier, there's also some stuff about Rebirth which was harder. Like, uh, not to spoil it, but one of the particular... there's a character in particular which was, uh, harder to complete with. Back in the day of Rebirth. Um, I used to play Rebirth on the Vita. Just, uh, when I was, uh, riding on the train to work, it was, like, roughly an hour trip. So I would do, like, a run on the way to work, and that was my morning. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, I mean... I have played this game for a long time. Well, I started with the original one, which was the Flash game. And I've loved this game. And it kind of set the standard for me in terms of roguelikes and the kind of roguelikes I play. Um, I don't always play this, but I generally do come back to it, just out of love for it. And yeah, I started a fresh file for Repentance, so I can play this on a regular basis. Um, amongst the other games I do play, so. But I'm, I'm definitely one to uh, try and 100% these games, like... Uh, this year, I mean, I 100% Risk of Rain 2. Last year, I completed Splunky 2, including the Cosmic Ocean, which was quite the task, so... I think every year I'm doing something. <laughs> They're just always gonna be active, aren't they? Yeah, okay. I like my roguelikes. I do, but it's not just all I play. Like, I check out Nintendo stuff. Um, like, the games that they release, um, have a pretty large collection of PS5 stuff. I'm into weird games as well, so, you'll see me play, uh, like, stuff that you might not have heard of. Or maybe it's something that's from Japan and is, like, very, very Japanese, like, Katamari Damacy, or, um, there's a game called Wadam, which is pretty cool. I like to play retro games from time to time, because I got a lot of uh, avenues to play them, legit, without emulation. Play any Hades. I did play a bit of it. Um, didn't finish it. I, I got as far as clearing the story content, so... I didn't really go into the super late game too much. Um, what heat level was it? I think it was either heat 7 or 8, roughly, at what I was playing at. Um... Okay, so, I mean, I think this could be worthy of an alternate path run, just because this nugget is constant damage. So, let's give it a try. And it's, it's amped up by the hive mind, so it's probably a good, a good time to attempt it. Why not? I do want to go back to Hades, um, at some point, but not really sure when. As I don't try to spread myself too thin, so... I mean, maybe after Isaac's done, I'd probably go back to it and play the game quite properly. You got to Heat 4, 5 and just ended up using a save editor. <laughs> I mean, fair. To each their own. Um, what were your favorite... Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to call them weapons. But, you know. I was always about the fists in that game because there was a build I did where... 
I got up to 90... I think the first time I did it was like 93.6% dodge chance. And then at the peak of when I did it, it was like 97% dodge chance. Under certain conditions. Not constantly, but like... The constant dodge chance was, uh, I think 60-something percent. So it was ridiculous. Like, I could stand pretty much in Hades' beams and just, he wouldn't be able to do a thing to me. It was great. So that's how I progressed through the heat levels. I just kind of did that build over and over again. Because you can do it pretty reliably. You did crit sword? Okay, crit sword's fun. The one that I kind of wish, um, like initially I thought it was going to be my playstyle was, um, the, the bow, but I don't know, there was something about runs I did with a bow that they started off well, but then ultimately they just fell off. I don't know why, um, I had more luck with the shield as a ranged weapon, so... Yeah, it was definitely a DPS issue. Although, um... Some of the alt- I forgot which alternate one I did have a bit more luck on. I can't remember the name. I'm terrible with names, by the way. So, like... <laughs> the name will escape me, but I know one of the aspects, um... I definitely had better luck on in terms of DPS and reliably reaching the end. Uh, alright, I mean... Anti-curse, why not? Did I like the spear? The spear, I had quite a bit of fun with. Um, I remember one build I got the, the one where it kind of stabs out in a three-way and it was very... It stretched out to the point where it was basically a range weapon. That was pretty fun. And then I had, um side and effect so like it was knocking back and rupturing and it was pretty nuts like that was a very good run with that like i i love me some poseidon oh okay i mean i'll probably still stick to what i have just in case I get hit here. Do I benefit when people uh, with Twitch Turbo watch the stream? No. So Twitch Turbo, I mean, think of it as like YouTube subscription, like YouTube premium, where it's pretty much just making sure you don't get ads. Um, and that's it. Or, and Prime is different. It's kind of like you pick one streamer and you can view without ads, but they, you, you know, they get the, the money from Twitch. But I mean, yeah, like, for me, honestly, I've said this before, the easiest way to support a smaller streamer, like, don't get me wrong, money is great, um, especially if you're using this as a means of extra income, which I'm not, right? Like, I, I thankfully have a pretty good job, and uh, it supports me well enough. Like, doing anything that helps them be higher up in the algorithm, I guess, is, is more support. <laughs> so, I mean, just basically turning up and chatting is, is a big one. But then, if you check out some of my other stuff, like whatever I have on YouTube or whatever, like commenting and liking, as corny as it sounds and like every single YouTuber says it at the start of their videos or halfway through, it, it does help a lot. That's the thing. It helps with growth, so... Yeah, I do appreciate it if people give me their, uh, Papa Bezos money, but... You know, for me, uh, just people hanging out, chatting, being around... Welcoming others, that means more to me than, than money. So... But I'm not going to say no to Papa Bezos' money. <laughs> uh, 
All jokes aside, like anything I make here, I, I typically just put it right back into the stream. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, is there anywhere I can use it just in a single use to kind of benefit from it? Not really, right? I should have just grabbed Bozo. That's hindsight's a bitch. Okay, well, I'll just get the bomb back. <laughs> you get it? You usually only watch, like, the super popular stuff, but there's just so much content out there, you know? Yeah! There's something like, uh, six million people streaming nowadays, which is insane, right, compared to what it was a few years ago. Um... And I guess that's, for me, like, why I've been considering YouTube a bit more, because... The one problem Twitch has is discoverability. It's kind of like... It's really difficult to find someone new to watch. For a multitude of reasons. It's kind of like... One, does Ooh, duality. Um... One, there's just, like, this vast ocean of content, right? And you kind of have to sift through just... And try and find stuff. But the other thing is... you. You don't have all the time in the world to do that. It's kind of like when you join a stream for the first time, it's a case of either the streamer is doing something interesting or interacting or they're not. And that doesn't necessarily reflect on the streamer. It's just like, that's just how streams go. Sometimes exciting stuff is happening. Sometimes people are just chilling. Sometimes, yeah, I mean, it's more active. So it's really hard to get... Oh no, hold on. Hold that thought. <laughs> Please, <laughs> kill it. <laughs> okay, I hate those flies, sorry. It's hard to get like an accurate, uh, oh my God. <laughs> Please. It's hard to get an accurate look at any content creator these days. There we go. Finish the thought without having an aneurysm. Uh, yeah, so. That's why I've been considering YouTube a bit more, because with that, you kind of mix live content with your pre-recorded stuff, and it just, discoverability, um, is a bit easier. Not like it's going to make you guaranteed famous, but, like, if someone's looking for the Binding of Isaac or something, you've done crazy, like, let's say I have the best run in the world. Only the people that were here at the time would know that. Whereas then if I make a YouTube video out of it and sort of link to the stream, like anyone looking for crazy Isaac runs will eventually find me somehow. And they'll know that this is the kind of stuff that happens here. Um, what does duality do? Duality, basically, it doesn't matter devil or angel. You get both. A door to both. Even if you've taken a devil deal. So, it's a good item to have, like, you- let's say you want to get the key pieces. Um, you can get the key pieces and then you can swap to devil deals. Or, like, let's say... I think the way I typically use it is... I'll try to get brimstone, and then once I get brimstone, I go back to angel rooms. More or less. Something along those lines. I will try to get the bonus item. Thanks for asking, answering questions. No, it's all good. <laughs> I don't mind it. This is one of the games where I can definitely talk about items and strategy. Um kind of why I play it on stream. I'm not as well versed in some of the newer stuff um, as I'm experiencing it currently, but I mean definitely in general. Like, I've been playing this game for a very long time across PC, I've, I've got this on Switch, I've, I had it on the Vita, and I have it on PS5. Like, Edmund has gotten my money multiple times, and he deserves it to be honest. Okay, cool. If 
Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm glad you, uh... You picked me to do some chatting with. It's all good. <laughs> I'm kind of the same when I watch Twitch. Like, I generally... I generally just watch and not chat as much, but... I mean, sometimes there are some streamers that I... I do, uh, chat with. With the exception of, like, my streamer friends that I always try to... Chat and chat for them. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'll go back to the normal path and then come back up. It's not like I can go through that door anyway. Plus, it's easier. Like, why are we making life harder for ourselves? What, for, like, a potential alternate choice to an item? Nah. Oh, no. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, the button, the button, the button, the button. What are the key pieces for? Um, so if you've been as far as the chest or the dark room, you'll note that the moment you enter it, there's a big door. That door leads to another fight. Um, and that's how you get through that door is by completing that key, having both key pieces. Um, there are, there is another way to get in there. Um, but it involves an item, so I don't know if you want that spoiled, but to answer just the key piece question, that's that's what it does. We can only be the key pieces can only be acquired from angel rooms, to my knowledge, unless they've changed something in repentance. <laughs> it's called Super Me or something. Close. Uh, it's a uh, Mega Satan. On your completion mark sheet, which I don't have on- oh no, yes I do. On your completion mark sheet, it's the brimstone symbol. I don't know why I always look left for Mega Satan. Hmm, not sure I want to mess with this too much. My damage isn't high. So I don't want to... Oh, but then again, I am relying off the nugget for my damage source. I mean, in theory, if I'm good at dodging, like, these things should be all the damage I should need. What am I working for? Um, the alternate path, since this build, I mean, could potentially take me through it. Okay, this can be decent. Like, if I get the Book of Shadows, that might be an alternate way to win. Uh, let's not go through there. I mean, at this point, it's too late for boss rush. That's the only other thing I have to do, and then just a delirium kill, which is just picking a normal run and just completing it and hoping that it spawns. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have 40. Extra trinket space. I'll get the health buffer. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Don't want that trinket. <laughs> I'll put it down. We can now peek in the challenge door and see if it's worth the risk. And if it's not, then I just buy the salt heart. No big deal. I have enough padding. You know what I should be doing? I should be trying to go for... I should be trying to go for the poop, because it might get me the transformation. Oh, crap. Okay, let me put this down. Okay. 
Protect me, flies. Okay, it wasn't. So, but still, I mean, there's one more item from that pool, and then we get the transformation, so it's still worth it. Yes, we want Bizzlebub. Become the Lord of the Flies. But Oh, yeah, this is good. There we go. Uh, not worth it. There you go. Very simple check. <laughs> uh, if it was damage, was gonna risk it. No damage, not worth. What, for extra money? Eh. Who's my favorite character? Uh, it's kind of uh, between Samson and Lilith, just because of how distinct they're... I mean, I like Samson for like the, the damaging aspect of his, his build. It's kind of like... You can turn that around and do some pretty interesting stuff with it. And then Lilith, I guess, is just the whole baby thing. You can get some pretty interesting runs with it. And she's the only character that can pick up the cursed eye without any negative repercussions, which is like a pretty good thing. The Forgotten, I think, would be, like, in there as well. It's just... I kind of wish... This... Like, there's cool synergies... With that. Um, it's just some of them, they don't do... As cool of a job as I thought they would. Okay. <laughs> Least favorite boss. Um, okay. Okay. In terms of, like, the big ones, as that's considered final bosses, uh, definitely the new mom fight. I feel like it's kind of just a bullet hell for the sake of being a bullet hell. I know that might sound like harsh critique, and not everyone will agree. Also, I'm gonna totally... Totally just wait this out. But, if you were to talk about bosses that are just things you encounter normally, um, the Bumbo fight. Because I, I feel like ev he gets a hit on me every time. Just, he does some move, and he appears pretty early on. So, like, I've had multiple times where Bumbo just... He'll either charge into me, or he'll do his quake attack, and... Um, something will fall and hit me. Like, he just always... He always has a way of hitting me somehow. Maybe because I'm not used to him yet. But... For, for me, currently, like, every time I see him, I'm like, oh, he's gonna hit me once. Close second, um, I don't know its name, but, you know, the big spider boss that hangs up the top here and is very tanky and is, mixes between brimstone and bullet hell and also spawns stuff on the sidewalls. Oh, we're taking our time here. <laughs> like, oh, no, but I need the bombs, don't I, if I want to go alternate path. Nah, I can't do this. Sorry. That was a waste of time. My bad. This is my one complaint, is I kind of wish it didn't require this. Because sometimes I do want to go down this path, but, it, like... Ha not having a key at the start, that sucks. Like, one key, really. I'm not sure how this is going to go, necessarily, but we'll see. My damage is not very high, which is concerning. Like, I think I might be a little too reliant on these flies. I mean, peep you'll get used to. There are annoying variants of the peep. Partic 
particularly the one where uh, he starts with his eyes already. Wait, is that peep I'm thinking of? Pretty sure it is. Like, his eyes pop out. Again, terrible with names. Okay, hold on. I need to try and bait this. Okay, that that's an excellent... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. I took the risk. I can still get it. It's 12% chance. Okay. Alright, looking a bit better. Man. When he cries brimstone forward to the side. Oh, that's that's a different name though. That's the bloat. Which is Ooh. I'm just thinking here. Um, this would let me go through spike door rooms, but then I don't know what this is. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try this, because... I mean, a guppy transformation could work. I don't have any of his pieces, but... This is one of the easier ways to get it. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it's the same boss, it's just like... An undead version of it, I guess. I might see how I go. I do have a lot of health. I could, I could potentially bait out the... The sacrifice. It's the survival boss. Already know what it is. Okay. Oh no, it's not this. Okay. Well, this is easier. As long as I put these down, they're not going to be able to touch me. Oh, damn it. Alright, well, I'm not concerned about taking damage now. Hang on, I should probably do that first. There we go. Um. Okay, hold up. So, what I want... Does this work? Let me see. No, it doesn't. But that's what I wanted to do anyway. Because it, it doesn't work the same as, like... The IV bag that prioritizes red health, it would take my soul hearts away. So that's why I did that. Um, hmm. I'm not sure I'll, I'll gamble it. Worth a shot. Okay. I always do, when I'm taking my time, I do a full clear. Because, uh, 1% chance. 
getting planetariums or like libraries or something like that. I don't know. I'm not a speedrunner, so you'll never see me rushing unless I'm doing boss rush or something. Blank card. If we had a good blank to spend on, um, it'd be worth it, but... Yeah, okay. I mean, I was thinking maybe that would give me a card. Alright, let's go do this. Got ads. Don't know if I answered. Oh. What did you ask? I'm sorry about the ads, but yeah. Do I suggest playing through the DLCs one at a time or getting them all? Ah. Uh... Yeah, here's the thing. There are certain things that once you have all the DLC, it's technically harder to do. And the other thing is, just because you buy all the DLC doesn't mean you have access to the stuff right away. So on a fresh file, for example, the stuff in Repentance you won't be able to do. Because your file will need to go through a bunch of stuff before you can do that. So, like, if you want to experience what Repentance has to offer, then it's better to have a file already in play from, like, a previous save file. Unless you want to do it clean like I did. Um, so, I mean, there's not a whole lot of benefit if you, if you want to, like, kind of do it one at a time. But there is something to be said of, like, starting a fresh file, um with Repentance installed, because they rebalance a bunch of stuff with Repentance, so... The game will definitely play different if you, for example, do Rebirth, and then Afterbirth, and then Afterbirth Plus. Um, as between each version, they did a bunch of different things to sort of rebalance items. The biggest being in Repentance. Uh, they fundamentally changed things like uh, how iframes work. A bunch of stuff got nerfed. So it's harder to break the game. But at the same time, um, there's a lot of synergies that are interesting and were not possible before. So like a key one is like Brimstone has a lot more interesting synergies and in Repentance. Um, but then there's stuff like, for example, the blank card. Before Repentance, it would cost four uh, charges, regardless of the card you're using. In Repentance, depending on the card you use, it'll cost you different charge amount. So, like, the two of diamonds, which was typically used to break the game, so you get infinite money, um, that has an increased cost on the battery charge. So, it's like, it's not impossible to do, but it just makes it less common that you'll break the game. Um, restocking shop... The way it worked before that, there's another one. Um, you know, like, let's say an item costs seven penny. With restocking shop, the next item you got was seven penny every time. In Repentance, it increases in cost by a percentage. So, like, the first one will cost you seven, the next one will cost you nine, and then eleven, and then it kind of increases like that. Which, yeah, like... Restocking doesn't really let you break the game anymore. It lets you get an advantage, but not break the game, which... It's kind of divided on that. Some people like that the game is harder. Um, my mentality is kind of like, I look at the reason this game got popular in the first place, and that was... People sharing broken builds. Like, the fact that they got to a point where the game was broken. Or they had something crazy going on. And I found it strange that they'd be doing something to kind of roll back the reason why people shared content for this game in the first place. So, I don't know. Some of the stuff I get why it was nerfed, because, like, there were certain items that the moment you got them, you knew you won the run. And I get, like, I get that no item should really do that. So that's fine. But then there's stuff that's kind of like... Yeah, I mean, it feels like you've changed this just for the sake of being hard. 
so, yeah. That's my feeling on that anyway. It's certainly not going to affect the overall enjoyment of the game, but it's certainly noticeable. Hopefully you didn't get an ad between all that explanation. <laughs> oh, dude. I've definitely noticed a number of people talking about that they're getting too many ads rising, like, ever since they just announced that stuff. I don't know. It's, it doesn't make it a good viewing experience. I think it's just making it harder for smaller streamers to kind of succeed, because it just means when someone interacts with you for the first time, that interaction is likely broken because Papa Bezos have to make money. So if you're 100% rebirthed and buy the next DLC, it starts you over. No, not at all. You continue your file from wherever it progressed, and then... Yeah. Um, I believe the only thing you have to do, because it's an unlock requirement, um, is just... I, I won't spoil it, actually. I'll phrase it like this. There is... To do a certain thing in... In this... Um, you need to have a certain clear condition. And that clear condition you can do in Rebirth, and you probably will do it. But when you get, uh, Repentance, you just have to do that condition. That's all. Because the game isn't aware that you've done it. If that, yeah. As cryptic as that might be, that's... If that makes sense. But you certainly don't get, uh, reset. That's all. It's just, like... You just need to do one thing. Um, and I'm sure you'll figure it out or, like, you'll look it up either way. I'm not sure how this is gonna go ultimately. Like, I'm hoping this not, because I got three luck, which is good. And these flies are going to carry me, but... Yeah, it's like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Confidence is questionable at best. Oh, good. You're going to start a run while you watch? Alright, all good. Good luck. I mean, like, this is worth it, right? It's just, like, spend one key to get two. Oh, no. Oh. I really dislike these things. <laughs> Tinted rock. Yeah, I think just go with the turret option. They should die. You got your girlfriend into playing Isaac? Oh, cool. Have you tried co-op? Wait, does- Oh! Yeah, that might be another reason to get the DLC. I think co-op got introduced with Afterbirth. There might be another reason to get Afterbirth. I can't remember when Cop was introduced, but it was definitely not in Rebirth. She's not comfortable with the keyboard. Yeah, that makes sense. I prefer controller, so I use controller. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh, I make horrendous noises from time to time. Like, I believe that was Donald Duck getting strangled. I don't know.
Why don't I just split the controls so you'll move and she'll shoot? Aww. That's a nice way of doing it. Well, yeah, I mean, there's co-op in the DLC version, so... I think it makes it harder, technically, but... Um... That's auto shot, which... Honestly... Might not be bad, because then I can kind of... Just do this, right? And then just focus on dodging. Golem? Oh yeah, I can do Golem. <laughs> I've been told. I just need to figure out... The thing when you do impressions is kind of like... There's a sentence you say and then you start the impression, more or less. It's like an entry point. But when I do Golem, I guess I, I don't have it yet. Like, I do a pretty good warrior voice, and that one's easy. It's just like, oh, yes! <laughs> and then I, I say what I need to say. Words of donation box. Uh, it doesn't always appear. If I have exploded it, I believe that's a change where it doesn't appear anymore, which I have this run. Uh, I mean, I could, but let's... I can use the chariot card, actually, to get in there, but... I don't know, what am I, what am I doing? I have the spikiness. I have to figure out how to get into Golem voice, but it's involuntary. Like, I guess it's just from something annoying happening and I'm not prepared for it. I don't know. I, I, I feel self-conscious about trying in case it's bad. I don't know why I didn't just do that. Oh, good. Worth my time. Okay, I think I know how I did it. Like, last time when someone told me my voice sounded like Golem, it was because I was playing Wario Land, Shake It, and there's a part where you go through this thing and Wario becomes tiny. So then it was kind of like, Yes, 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 my precious, yes. There we go. <laughs> Got it. Sorry if that was a bit abrupt and stupid, but I, I, it was bothering me a little. Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's not the best. I'm sure if you watch Lord of the Rings, you'll be like, I mean, it's all right. Oh, no. I hate this boss. I'm not quite used to this one yet. Oh, yeah. What am I doing? Nugget. Nugget. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm using this. Screw it. Yeah, to get the angel room, definitely worth it. Okay, damage up. Everything else down. I'm alright with that. Oh, I mean, I'll grab it. Here's the reason I'm going, oh, it's because you lose its power. When you take a hit, and of course during a bullet hell segment, I'm not long to have that power. Like, there it is, it's gone. Like, that's the problem I have with Blue Crown. For this path, it's not really going to be as useful as you think it might be. But for completing the floor, it'll be great. It'll be a nice little addition. Okay. Oh, 
Ah, oh, I went in too late. Gop. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> good. Let's get these out. Oh, that's interesting. The holy water kind of shoots in that direction as well. I suppose it makes sense. Excellent. Uh, let's try for the health. Bad luck. Can't you get a key piece from doing a sacrifice room? Yeah, that's an alternate way. It still involves the angels. The thing is that option isn't too viable if you're doing devil deals because of you're losing health, right, to do devil deals. But, I mean, if you have something like uh, the wafer, like I had before, or damage reduction, yeah. You can definitely opt to do it that way. I mean, the other way is just straight up getting dad's key and carrying you that item all the way to the end. Yeah, all right. Let's see what we can do with you. Oh, no, it's blank. Black green. I don't know why I said Yara. I think I saw the color being purple. So, it's a consume. Free consumption. Ah, <sighs> man. I think in a way, because of just the way this game is harder now, like Blue Crown, it's an indirect nerf. Um, I'm gonna go for this, because it's like another luck-based thing. And it does apply slow, so... Snot and slow. Um, flashlight. Hmm. It kind of makes the fight a bit unreliable. Okay. Uh. Okay. Damn it, I hate, I hate, this is the one thing I hate about this item. It's like it knocks things out of your path. Um, hang on, stop shooting. There we go. Try it now. Okay. I mean, may as well. I've got nothing else to do with this money. But yeah, um, I guess let's just take this. I don't know. Confidence is not super high. Wait, I saw it. Go back. Bomber. <laughs> I, oh! Oh, these things are so annoying with their whip. Okay, um... Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to... It's unlikely that I'll get to keep that. But I'll try. Where's my little indicator? There it is. Yeah, I mean... I'll try. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. Nah. All right. Let's just go. Right, this fight. Ooh. I think the targeted shots are kind of not doing well. Keep forgetting about the extra stomp. Alright, take the damage up, because it doesn't matter at this point, and go. This should hopefully go better. Because I don't have to focus too much on anything but dodging. But this is what I mean, this is what I don't like about this path, personally, is just... Like, it's a bullet hell for the sake of being a bullet hell. Same fight as before, but more bullets. Anyway. Yeah, it's... Ugh. It's definitely not looking great. Oh. Uh... Yeah, let's not mess with this room if we don't have to. Tried to move it. Ah, uh, no, <laughs> no, no. Oh boy. Kind of making my little corner here. I think conceptually this, this area is like even more disgusting than what the original one was. Because, I mean, the original one is, like, yeah, uterus. And now this is a dead one. <laughs> it's just, it's even worse. But you don't think about that. Unless you're me. Okay, good, got the snot on. Uh, let me... Do that at the end. Hopefully. Oh no. Okay, but no. Oh, okay. Targeted shot doing wonders. I hate this boss. I really do.
Yeah, bullet hells are fun. Ah, oh, man, it's not looking great. Okay, so here's the thing. The next floor, I'm kind of going to have to explore it to try and heal somehow. I can't go fighting her. Despite having the card to go straight to her, I, I can't. I have to try and pick up whatever help I can get. Dude. <laughs> I, I need something to act as a game changer for me. No, that's the... <laughs> that's not gonna help. I have money, but... What good is it? Okay. Oh, you've got to be kidding. That's clutch. All right, we got flight. We got gup. <laughs> okay, this this is the sort of thing that I need to happen. Because now we got hive mind guppy, which is sick, but. Health is still the issue. Okay. I still have to do this to some extent. Hang on, no, I don't. I'm careful enough. Oh man, if it wasn't for Guppy, that would have been horrible. want to make sure I don't mess this up and I need to make sure that this actually goes through. Bray. <laughs> ah, come on. Damn it. I got one heart out of it. I have to go look. Like, maybe there's... There's a gaming room or something, but I'm obviously- I'm gonna lose if I go in like that. Like, I- It's too much of a bullet hell. And I, I don't have the sheet damage to do it. Like, eight damage is not that much to down it quickly. I mean, I guess I, I'm not taking the flies into account, but still, it's... Okay, good. I mean, more health. Good stuff. Yeah, this is... Why is it... Oh, there we go. It's still not useful. <laughs> Man. <laughs> okay, just be patient. Got it. This is copium here, but I have to try. Whatever little... Uh, I mean, I guess at this point, yeah, that's fine. I don't need a lot of keys and plus it's there anyway if I want to swap back, so why not? Don't touch me! Nothing. Man. 
Come on. Something health related, please. It's not gonna happen. Like, I think it's impossible at this point to get anything else. Unless that room leads down, but I don't think it will. Ah. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, that's that's a little better. Was there a heart in the first room to the left? First room to the left? I mean, it should show up on the minimap if it was there. I mean, let me know if I missed it. Okay. Not, not incredible, but definitely better, better position than before. Okay, do you want the real copium to begin? The real copium is about to begin, chat. This is... Because I'm not going to use these bombs for anything else, so... Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Okay, that's that giving me more padding. This is why I take my time. I try to get every little possible thing that could help. Yes! The rocks are so subtle. I, did, I didn't see that. Okay. This is giving me a better chance. Like, look at how I started on this floor versus how I am now. Definitely. Massive improvement. I'm gonna leave those for now. Because what I want is, like, ones that are, like, at least two rocks. To maximize the chances. But then, of course, at the end, I'm going to spend where I can. Okay, this is four. This is two. This is two. One. I think we're down to ones now. No, okay, we got these, which... I... Ooh, I'm not sure if- it, I'll try with one. Okay, it does have the radius to do it, so it's three. Technically health up. It's- it's padding either way. And you know what else I can do? I can use the pill to get another seven bombs. Oh yeah, no, I'm- All the way. Stretching this out as much as I can. And we do this. Now we get our bombs back. Should be okay. Yes, got two. Shit. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, look. Did what we could, but... Alright, and I guess let's just... This will be the last one. Alright, this is as good as it's gonna get. I am not a fan of this fight, just for the record. I just, I hate how much of a bullet hell it is. I think the hive, I think the hive mine is 100% is going to carry me here. T 
targeted shot also helps quite a bit. I don't have to focus on aiming. Let's just dodge. Alright, honestly not bad. I could have done it with the health I had, but I didn't know that. Like, I, I got the health that I got. But it's usually like that, isn't it? You take the extra precautions. And then you don't need them. What are you drawing? Oh, good. I'm happy. <laughs> the yuck heart? Okay. Which I assume is rotten hearts. Okay, uh, give me a sec here, chat. I need to swap the batteries on my headset real quick. It'll take a sec. The other one's charged, so... Just gotta pop it out. And then pop the other one in. So, yeah, boss rush. Yeah. I'm not a fan of... <laughs> of, like, having to rush just to do boss rush, but, I, I mean, I guess we can now. I guess a tactic I could do is just, like, run through it quickly, and if I miss boss rooms... Not boss rooms, treasure rooms, I guess I could get planetarium stuff. But the hardest stuff is done now for Maggie, so it's... we're home free. Ugh. It's all psychological at the end of the day. It's like I was in a panic because I had low health. And I probably would have played worse because I had low health. <laughs> but. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, I didn't need it. I mean, hey, if I wrap up two characters today, that's good. Ugh. Hive mind again. But I think this time it's not as clear cut as before, where we had something that clearly benefited from it right away. Also, hey, Nick, how's it going, dude? I mean, if I can afford it, it's not bad to have. It's definitely one of the items that I like getting. Uh, it's too early for a dark bomb, right? Like, this is gonna be a normal bomb. Pretty good, you're gonna try and finish Calamity before 1.44. Haha. -ha. That's out, uh, in two days, right? Assuming the console patches go through for Terraria. Like, they gave it a release date of that, but they're... It's pending the console patches get accepted, which they can't see any reason why not, but just in case, they're like, it might not come out Wednesday. So, because they want everything to launch at once, which is amicable. I mean, one of the frustrating things about picking up console versions of games is just like, on release, you know, they'll release the same time as PC. But then after release, it's just never the case. Like, you're waiting months for a patch sometimes. Especially the case with, like, Isaac. Like, man. I know Xbox, for example, had to suffer quite a bit. My cousin bought it on Xbox and had to wait quite a bit for a patch. Yup. Yeah, I mean, I've been talking to Lelo about it, and we'll probably play it. As he hasn't finished it.
How do you get the boss rush? Uh, get to mom's fight in under 20 minutes. And yeah, a passageway will open up. Another way is, um, let's say you don't have 20 minutes on the floor that you would fight mom. Um, you use Mama Mega, the item. So it causes an explosion that opens the pathway. But just remember, like, if you go into the Devil Deal door, it will reseal it. That's it. Do I plan to play Calamity as well? Uh, not sure, to be honest. I haven't really talked to Flello. We've been talking a lot about, um... I might... Ooh... I might do this. We'll see. I, I like doing this early. If you haven't gotten two items that are, are worthy, or your starting items aren't worthy, you can alter it this way. I believe the bone marrow would re-roll and I wouldn't lose the health. Unless I'm unless they changed it. Um yeah, I might do this. I might do this. I might do this. I might do this. Judgment. Oh. It did become a dark bomb. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I haven't figured it out. Like, we've been talking a lot the past couple of days of, um, I guess, what it would be like to try YouTube out. Because eventually he wants to get back to streaming as well, and it's on his mind as well. But yeah, I guess just talking about like how I can produce content and he can help. That's what we've been talking about. Which it's been pretty energizing to be honest, like talking about that stuff. Uh huh. Um I I think I'm damn it. Because that's going to re-roll my active. Okay, I think I'm going to just stick to what I have now. This changed my mind. On the simple merit that I'll I'll just keep getting health. And it means I'm going to keep being able to generate health. As long as I'm shooting the boss. So as long as I keep getting red hearts, this is going to be a really good build. Health. You dick. As long as I keep getting red hearts. Yes. Yes, do the opposite of what I just said. Because <laughs> tempting fate is funny. It's alright, I'll get that health back somehow. I mean, at the very least, it's useful for, for uh, delirium. In the long run. Okay, let's go. There will be no devil deals. But yeah, this, like... It just means this is so much more useful now. Awesome. That's what we needed. Come on, hand it over. Whew, okay, that was worth. And now, uh, let me just see. I need a key to get that, so I guess in here is the better, the better thing to do. Uh, nice. I don't think it moves chess, but. We could definitely be cheeky with this. I'm gonna be dropping it constantly because this item attracts. <laughs> I think it attracts enemies as well, which we do not want. So drop it and only use it when we have to. There we go. Alright. Hey. 
Good. I need to start thinking about time. So I don't want to, like, hang around too much. This is the first couple of floors that I tried. Oh, no. I lost the bone heart. I try to get maximum advantage from the first couple of floors. Okay, right away, heal. Spectral Tears, not really gonna help with damage. Definitely wanna do that, this room is annoying. All right, we're good. I need to go for fire right here, if possible. Really worth it. I don't have money. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Kill it, please. Ugh. All right, it's fine. Under control. Oh, no. Uh, sure. Not here. Please be here. All right. I had to try. I have to get something that gives me damage. I, I can't stay like this. This is the problem I have with boss rush when I'm trying to do it. I seem to get runs that give me no damage and I can't get there in time. I get the damage after the 20 minutes is up every time. It's alright, I mean, there's something else I can achieve other than boss rush. And I got bosses like this that just spawn 50... <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> 50 minions. Angel room? There it is, thank you. Uh, does this do anything? Like, I mean, I guess it's a wild card. Um... Oh, this is risky. But I'll do it. It's okay. I have my way to heal. be fine. Um, I'm gonna go through, ugh, nah, you know what, no, I, I can't. I'm gonna try to go for the timing still. I was gonna say go through this door, but no. It's not in my best interest. I didn't go back for the super magnet either. I gotta remember, 20 minutes.
which, <laughs> if if I don't get damage, that's not feasible, but we'll try. I mean, I don't mind this. Some of the worm effects do make your tier rate better. You just gotta get used to how they shoot. So I figure right now when I don't have much going on, it could be beneficial. I seem to be getting a lot of rooms where enemies are taking long to kill. <laughs> Yay! Good, there goes the angel room deal. Okay, well. No sense in stressing about it now. Two of diamonds, okay. Alright, since I've already ruined the angel room potential. And it's relatively nearby. Okay, worth a shot. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a good pill to get. We're not really doing anything challenging, but if I could get it again, that'd be a good pill to have. What was it? It was like blue and white? Something like that. Wait, what is this one? I don't think I've gotten this item before. Whoa, okie dokie. What on earth is this? That was a waste. Uh, plus one to the lowest stat, which would be damage. There we go. Worth it. I just need to get through this quickly. Yeah, I'm not really sure if this item is good yet. Alright, you know what? Just to speed shit up. Go. We don't want to be fighting things forever. It's hard to say. I guess if you're being chased, that's fine. I don't know. It's a weird one. It's like a game of snake almost. I'm undecided. Just do it because... It's okay, I can heal this. Don't worry. Don't you even worry. Oh, good. It's, this is the fight that I was talking about. One that... Yep, there's the hit. <laughs> Always gets one hit on me, at least. Always, without failure. Ha! <laughs> My coin. One hit. 
Always one hit. Uh, yeah, I mean, look. Let's see if we can maybe have enough money to do something cool, but for now. How much time have we got left? Ugh, I, I probably won't make it. Sadly, I, again, I got a run that hasn't really provided me something that'll let me get through floors quickly. Like, I know I did kind of dick around on the first couple of floors, but... If you don't have damage at this point, you're gonna be slow. And treasure. That's not a game winning item. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this. I think even getting up to delirium might not happen here. Just based on the items I have, there's just mm, not a whole lot going on. I need a game changer. I almost feel like resetting. <laughs> Just... The thing is, this this is viable in the sense that I do have a way to generate health. That's just kind of... That's all I have. I don't care. Yeah, I think I might reset this run. Just... This is way too slow. Okay, 20 minutes on the clock, go. In fact... This is an interesting start. I know this is risky. Nail gun. Okay, sweet. Isn't that sad? I already have more damage than the previous run. Like, a couple minutes in. <laughs> Not even the 30 seconds in, and I have more damage already. Like, that. that is a big sad. Um, I'm gonna leave that there. Because I will try to do the thing. I should be able to just fly through this first floor. Yeah, rah! Alright, cool. Might believe in magic here. Vert pill, okay. Trying my hardest not to eat a hit here. I'll uh, leave that. Although, I could. Mm, I, l let me consider it. I could Yara and double it, and then I get the heart right away. But let's not. Because another potential avenue, and I'm leaning more towards, is doing this. Yep. 
That's the play. Again, powering the fact that I'm gonna hit myself against the sacrifice thing. Now I know what that card is. So, ooh. What? Okay. Oh, uh, go, go. Oh, damn it. Okay, hang on. This has put me in an awkward position. Um. That's if I want to see it through completely, I guess. Or, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, it's it's cool. It, it doesn't affect me. It doesn't matter. Like, I'll just hit it. Because if I take the other one anyway, it's still the same effect. I get one heart, so... It doesn't matter. Like, this is fine. Okay, so before we do... That's the warning shot. Before we do it... I'm gonna make sure I have as much heal as I can. Okay, there's the other item room. Uh, huh. Well, this is a no-brainer. I'm gonna take that hit, that fly is gonna be charged and good to go. That's unfortunate that happened, but it's okay. I'll just go charge it again. Okay, piece one. It's okay. Um, actually, I think I can hit it one more time and see what I get out of it. Yeah, okay. It's just money. Oh, right. Yeah. Awesome. So I basically refunded what I spent. Um, what were the other items? Uh, oh yeah, quick charge. Um, I'm gonna do this and let's not waste any time. All right, hit it. This fly is doing wonders. It's okay. It's okay as long as I get it. I'm gonna pick up the dead cat anyway, so it's like this health isn't gonna matter. Okay, key complete. Um, now for good measure, what I'm gonna do before I grab the dead cat is just make sure there's nothing else I can do with this health beforehand. You never know. I will zip through the rest of the floors. Like, this fl this is just a labyrinth. It's going to be two floors at once. It'll be fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, doesn't look like I can do anything else. I thought maybe there'd be a cursed door or something. For a labyrinth, this is tiny. Okay, let's go collect our stuff. Um, that, that, buy that. Don't need the lovers. So, I mean, we're sacrificing two hearts. 
But it's one guppy piece, so... As long as I follow through with this, somehow. Okay. Let's roll. Damn, there's a bomb there. Okay, well, that's a bit better, I guess. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, but I got the angel room. Health has been restored. Don't need to do that. All right. We're in a better place than what we were before. And now I'll do my best to get through this quickly. Um, I'll check it. Okay, it's fine. Sure. Uh, that's interesting. I think I'll pass. I was just thinking, like, I could get an accessory. Is the plum flute just not worth it? You never see anyone going for it. I think the problem with the plum flute, which is a problem with a lot of items, um, that have, you know, friendlies throwing out projectiles, is usually they're the color red. And if you have something that's already shooting a lot of projectiles, sometimes it just becomes a thing where it's really hard to tell which shots you need to avoid. And the plum, you, the way it shoots, it just makes that, like, a big issue. I've always felt like your friendlies should shoot, like, a, a different color projectile, like a blue one or a black one, like they've done with um, some of the other ones, just to make it more obvious that that shot is okay. But that's, uh, that's why I personally don't use it, because I tried it once and I saw that problem immediately. It's just, not. Double active card, okay. Let's just... I mean, I'll just use the two of diamonds. I'll rest this. As we need to be trying to get Guppy. I think the item in terms of the damage it does, it's not bad, it's just... It sort of has like a double-edged sword nature to it, I guess, in that regard. I don't know. I think it's a design choice, just... So then, those things that are your allies, it's not just a straight-up positive, there is a negative to it. It's kind of like, uh, the little, what do you call it, the horseman, the pet horseman thing. It's like, it's fine until the one that does explosive flies appears, and then that one can really mess you up. Ooh, nice. On both fronts. I could almost risk this and try and do devil deals instead. I mean, I, I got nothing to lose by seeing what it is. 
And if it's brimstone, then hey. Glad I did it. Uh, there's a second guppy piece. All right, we devil we devil deal in the house now. Um, since that's going to be the case, Yum Heart's probably not worth it, as I will run out of red hearts eventually. Shard. Got it. Oh wow. Okay. That's a one percenter. Please don't be Mars. That's all I ask. Don't be Mars. Oh. Yo. Uh. Which one's which? Okay, hold on. I I know I've I've experienced all of them. I just hang on. Because they're very similar. Uh, planetarium items. Hold up. I need to look this up. We don't want Sol. That's the one that I was worried about. We want Terra. So this is the one that I want. Okay, cool. That's all. I was just making sure that I picked up the correct one. Because they're very similar and I, I couldn't remember which one's which. Oh, damn it. <laughs> really? I just want a pill so then I can use Verp. Keep going. Just need to get through this as quick as I can. Even though there's a little bit of temptation for me to destroy every single rock. I need to not succumb to that. Oh yeah, I suppose I can... No, you know what? I suppose I can just... This is a speedrun item. Like, what am I doing? This 100% enables what I'm trying to do. What is verb? It spits up, um... A pill. So, for example, because I haven't eaten the pill, it just spits up the verb pill. But let's say I get a health up, and then I use verb, it vomits out the health up again, and I can use it a second time. A cool synergy with Verp is the Pill Baby, who anytime you consume a pill, will apply a poison effect to the room. If you have the Pill Baby and are just constantly vomiting up Verp, it's pretty much a free Necronomicon um, when you use it, which is pretty sick. Um, let's see what this is. Might be worth it. Uh, I'm gonna keep it, because if I do a devil deal, it'll be a health up. So that's fine. Like, whatever. I can undo that. Um. Time saver. Um, this one for sure. I'm gonna blow it up now. Oh, damn it, safety blanket was there. Um, well, I guess since I got planetarium, there's no point in getting that. Okay, let's roll. It's okay to keep a health down pill.
Oh, this is cool. For bosses, I can keep generating flies. Yeah, this is a build already. It's like budget guppy. No devil room, but that's okay. Just keep moving. Uh, I mean, that goes to the emperor. Blue shop, right? Okay, hold up. What's in here? Not worth it. Oh, you have to go through it right away. Did not know that. Haven't really interacted with this item too much. That's my bad. Oh, dude, I have battery on kill. And progressive charging on hit. Pretty decent. Yeah, what am I- again, what am I doing? Like, I don't have to stick around here. I can just skip. I have a build that lets me do point A to point B. Okay, this room I have to do. Wait, what the f- Oh, convenient. <laughs> it's like, what? Interesting. Ah. Oh. Alright, whatever, it's fine. I mean, I'm keeping the vert pill. I know I health downed, but it's okay. Okay, the problem is I may have skipped the treasure room. No, it's here. Sweet. Clicker. Not really worth it. Okay, I can't do that, unfortunately. Lose the health. Wait, what? What have I done here? Uh, hold up. Oh, okay. This is a weird map. Come back for it if I don't if I want to use it. my time. Oh, you've got to be kidding. I'm not going to make it in time again. Ah. I thought I was further along. Dude, I hate. No, Ugh, go straight in. This may have single-handedly saved this. Like, I just need to get on top of her. Don't care if I take damages once it's done. Uh, Fuck. <laughs> Go in. Yo, the sprinkler. That's actually a GG. That's a GG right there. 
this is this is done. This is hands down the best item to have with boss and like that charge on hit item. One of the best synergies in the game. As this goes on, like, it, it's just gonna be too strong. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> Dude, that... That fortune-telling purchase that saved me. It let me just jump straight to the boss. And there was a chance that that wasn't even going to be on offer. Like, I got lucky. I don't even care if I don't finish the rest of the run. Like, as long as this gets done. that's This is the most annoying thing, in my opinion. Like, why can't I make boss rush a door like, uh... The new doors where you have to sacrifice health or something to get in. It just seems like a much cleaner option than forcing the player to, like, run through the game quickly. Look at all the rocks. It just means I get to place more down. Oops. Any prolonged fight, just... This is the best item for bosses, straight up. Because it's, it's a prolonged fight. And anything tanky is just going to end up with just... Rocks everywhere. It's very good in greed mode as well. Get stoned! Just an <laughs> I don't really have that much damage, but when you have this many things shooting rocks... That adds up pretty quickly. Okay, there it is. Sweet. And this is Cracked Orb, which... One in conjunction with the red key is a really good pairing, but I don't have that. It's sad that I had to skip the treasure room, but... Listen, this was more important to me. We all rock you, that's a good one.
Oh, yeah, I suppose I can do this with... Huh. Oh, dick. old gimpy. I need a better fire rate. It's one of these things that's hard to get off the ground, but once it's off the ground, it is quite the build. Okay, fine. Judgment. May as well. Let's see what we can get. If it's a health up, I I would prefer that. I need health. Don't get me wrong, Gimpy's all well and good, but it's not exactly reliable. Okay. Okay, I don't think we need to. Damn, son. I could do harsh. That's quite the spicy risk, though. But I think I'm more than capable. I'm gonna do it. It might get- I- I missed out on a couple items, and honestly, like, this is... This is fun. Oh, wow, okay. What the heck? Really? Everyone gave me an item? Um... Cool, so... Take this, consume the other room. Although, hang on, let me think about it. Yes, consume the other room. Black. Don't have a key. But I guess that doesn't matter, right? Alright, here we go. I'm gonna use strength for this. I definitely made the right call. I got four items for coming here. No, wait. Five and then a stat up. What did the black rune do? Uh, same as, uh, Apollyon's void item. So, on use it will, um, consume, right? And destroy any item on the pedestal. It'll give you random stats for every item it destroys. Oh, man. Shit, took a hit. 
How dare I take damage? It's alright, my fly now is adding to the damage. We'll be okay. Yeah, I mean, Hush is a tanky boy. I could go straight to Delirium, but I feel like I'm not there yet. We're not quite there yet. I just wanted to... Oh, yeah, right. This is cool. I do appreciate this, just being able to jump straight ahead. What even? Ugh. The tears. I will admit there is concern. But this is why I don't want to jump straight to Delirium. Oh, that was close. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I took the negative, didn't I? Whoops. <laughs> Ah, uh, whatever. I thought I took the Polaroid. I think I took the neg- I autopiloted and took the negative because I wanted more damage, but then I didn't consider what I wanted to do. Okay, look, it's fine. Now I can do a standard run and finish this off. I don't have to worry about time constraints or anything like that. <laughs> I can just play the game. That's fine. Run was good either way. I just, I think... I don't know what it is about the rocks, but they feel weaker. Even though the damage I was doing was double digit, just for whatever reason. Like, with that many rocks shooting, you would think it would do more? I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Anyway, let's try and get through this. Uh, now there's no 20 minute rush. That's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Just use it for this. I just can't believe I barely made it there, and that was m with me using rocks to skip rooms. Maybe? Make a mental note not to grab the negative. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, that was dumb. Uh huh. Okay. I don't think I'll get enough. I could try for it. Let's see. Yeah, not enough. Let's buy this and hopefully it's here. It's not. Okay. Oh, yeah. I should have figured that because it's adjacent to the boss. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Out of the corner. Oh. No. Ugh. Uh, I think this ups, yeah. It has the side effect of upping the chance of planetarium, so don't mind this at all. I'm gonna go buy the, uh, the soul heart, just so I have padding. There we go. Alright, definitely no devil deals. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Got outplayed. <laughs> that was a mistake I should not have made. Gee, it's a good thing I bought all that padding. Oh, this is bad. <sighs> I'm gonna take a chance. Damn it. Probably not a good trade. Oh, look, I don't care anymore. Okay, I should probably care a little more than that. Right, I can't see this. Okay, that's not bad. High luck rate, and yeah. Can do decent stuff. I'll buy it. What's in here? The reason I'm choosing not to heal as well is just in case there's a challenge room. I can go in there and then heal afterwards. Ah, 
No trinket, a little sad. I forgot what this does. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't mess with it. I feel like I remember vaguely, but I, it just escapes me right now. Oh, this. Gotta be careful of this. Yeah, maybe it's time to heal and just do that. I still get what I want, it's just less risky. Alright, not worth the time, but whatever, I had to try. Uh, I mean, look. This is just gonna be annoying. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. And might result in a death, because there's a couple of elites. Excellent. Alright, that did wonders. Oh, good, good job. Should have prioritized uh, fighting instead of getting the key. Big sad. <laughs> okay, well. Alright, I'm happy with that. Don't touch! Don't touch! Don't touch! <laughs> that oh, I hate these things. Okay. That's a per throw. I, I want that. Come on. Come on. Got it. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. Survive one more room. There we go. Sorry, right, these flyers are harmless now. Oh, this is... <laughs> That's obnoxious. Alright, I have time for one more try, and then I got a... I got a jet chat. And this is, uh, as good as an attempt as any. Hundred percent devil deals. I think we might be able to do more with this than the Yum Heart.
I mean, for mo for most of the early bosses, it's pretty much a like take off at least half their health. Oh, nice. All right, there we go. Now we're moving, literally. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. That almost got me. I guess I don't have to worry about taking damage now, that's the beauty of it, it's just, it's gonna... It's a done deal regardless. Um, I'm debating on whether to try the Devil Room or not. Oh, that was bad. Come on, one more chance. There it is, got it. Oh, um, I will plug it in in a minute. By that, I mean now. Give me a sec. There we go. Hey, Monolith, how's it going, dude? How are things? Uh, yeah, I mean, check it out, may as well. I wonder what the odds are that I have, like, a special room. I feel like the map is almost screaming at me. Going well, having a coffee, getting started for the day, right on. Yeah, I'm slowly but surely wrapping up mine. I just wanted to get some Isaac in before I kind of wrapped up my day. Oh, that was bad. I wasn't paying attention. Just kind of walked into that room. What have you been up to lately, dude? Feels like it's been a while since we've talked. Please, no. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I could use it to get in there, but I'm not gonna. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. Really, two of them? Okay, well, can't blame me for trying. Oh, right. They're behind... They're behind that. It's alright. Damn it. 
damn, this is a really big flaw for not being an Excel map. Carrying on with life, things are going well overall. No cause for complaints. Nice. Glad to hear it, dude. What have you uh, been playing lately? There's honestly so much stuff coming out. Uh, like, let's see, we got the Terraria patch coming out this week. The Fall Guys new season started. Um, Diablo 2's ladder is gonna reset next, I think it's next weekend, I believe. And they got a pretty interesting theme. And sort of like this ARG thing going on at the moment, which is interesting. It's okay, doesn't matter if I take a hit. Oh look, it's a range up again. And it wasn't worth my time as well. So it's a 50-50 split, but okay, whatever. Picked up the Saints Row reboots. It was okay, lots of bugs. Your lady convinced you to get back into WoW with her. And you've been doing that quite a bit. Yeah, WoW's just recently gotten... Um, like, a content release, right? I've heard people talking about it. And I've, I've seen a couple of my streamer friends play the new Saints Row. I mean... I've never gotten into that series, so I can't really say much about it, but I will say, like... I don't know what it is about Ubisoft games in particular, and this might be, like, a little bit of a hot take in terms of opinion. But aside from maybe the Rayman game with Mario... For whatever reason, Ubisoft games, to me, like... If I start playing them, like, I kind of get tired of them just a little bit after the halfway mark they just feel like they kind of hit a point where it's just recycling the same stuff in a different way <laughs> ubisoft is ass fair enough spooky i mean look to reach their own whatever floats your boat right you play games to enjoy them like I'm sure there are plenty of people that would find Isaac unenjoyable just because it would kick their ass. But yeah, I mean... It was alright. The one thing about it that I found a little strange was, like, the colours in it. It just seemed... The art style felt like it was a Battle Royale game. Does that make sense? Like, it had the graphics of, like, someone trying to make a Battle Royale. The colors in particular. I don't know why. Like, that's the feeling I got from it. Even though it's supposed to be, like, a GTA alternative, right? But it just felt to me like, oh, yeah. Put Pickle Rick in there, Goku, and, uh, all that other stuff, and you got yourself a Battle Royale. <laughs> true. A lot of people would think Isaac is unplayable because they get wrecked 20 runs in a row. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the concept of roguelikes is another tough sell to some. Like, some people hate the idea of starting something and then losing the progress, pretty much. That they've made. I mean, you do make progressive progress in this, but like, you know, your run is dead and then the items you picked up, they're gone. So, that is often a tough sell, but I mean, the balance is the replay factor is just through the ceiling, you know? Especially for this game. But, yeah, I mean, do whatever floats your boat. As long as you're not a dick about it. <laughs> That's basically it.
You're a masochist and that's why you like this game. That's fair. I, I can definitely relate to that. Um, I mean, I play a mix of stuff, right? Like, it's not always this, but... Um, generally speaking, every year I'm doing one thing that is very masochistic. I mean, last year was Splunky 2, so I got through that and spent, I'd say, a good four to five months trying to finish that Cosmic Ocean thing. Early this year, I finished Risk of Rain 2. So, yeah. You don't see the option, but I should hydrate. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Um, I do constantly hydrate. I have bottles of water around me constantly. Um, it's a habit that I, I keep up. Because I do work with computers, so... Um, on a daily basis, I've had to, like, train myself to be better aware of that stuff. And standing up and stretching as well. Like, sometimes you'll hear me say, Alright, I need, like, a couple minutes to stand up and stretch because I've been sitting down for a while. So, generally pretty good with that. Kind of have to be. <laughs> With as much salt that happens on this stream, I definitely hydrate. Yeah, no kidding. There's definitely been moments where I've straight up just said, okay, I need to go have a drink of water. Because <laughs> I just, something's gone wrong. Yeah, I'm using bombs. I got plenty. Just got to time it right. There we go. It's not worth it. Like, just get the win. You program drones for the Canadian American military, so you try to take care of yourself. Oh, no kidding. God damn it, dude. This ad thing, like, okay. When, you know, Spooky gets back, I'll, I'll start my rant. <laughs> but. Ah, oh, good. Very good. Alright. But this has been a topic of conversation for me for, like, I'd say the last... Definitely it, it's come to, like, a... I guess a, almost like I need to take immediate action. It's definitely been this week where I've, I've felt the need. Oh, no. Yeah, we need to use bombs to get rid of them quickly. Oh, is that gonna? No, it's not gonna be enough. All right, just there we go. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that I was gonna say. I, I waited, spooky, but that's cool, dude. Um, I. Uh, I'm currently doing UX mainly, like UI UX, but I did do a lot of uh, software engineering, so like programming, mainly in JavaScript, doing web applications and stuff, but my formal job title um, is now in the UX space, because I originally started as a graphic designer and then moved into programming, so I can appreciate someone that, <laughs> that does that sort of stuff, especially stuff like drones, that would be like at such a low level. Low level programming, it's... It's something I wish I could, uh, do, but, like, for me, unless I'm seeing an output or something, <laughs> it, it starts to escape me. But, yeah. Um, and also the ads, yeah, I feel ya. Like, I really wish I could t turn them off. Um. I would. Because streamers get basically nothing from them. Especially at my level, right? Like, I don't do this for money. Um, I have a job and that covers me pretty well. Um, so, you know, that's a, the least of my worries. Um, and it's definitely been the stuff that they've done lately around ads has kind of made Twitch a worse experience, especially for people coming into a stream brand new. Like, they'll just get plastered with an ad when they're just trying to see what the stream is about, and it's starting to really annoy me, because you're not the first one to say it, let me tell you. And there's pretty much nothing I can do about it. 
And then, of course, this week there was all the drama with, um... Like, the whole revenue split thing. And whilst it doesn't personally affect me, it's just the sentiment that I guess they were... It's what they said and how they said it, I guess. If you know what I mean, like... I don't know. I just, I felt it was a bit scummy. So... The past week, I've been having a lot of thoughts. I've been thinking, and I'm thinking about giving YouTube streaming a try. Not switching. Not switching, right? Like, but at the very least, like, giving it a trial run and seeing if I can do something. Because I'll tell you one thing YouTube streaming has that 100% is, like, that is a huge thing for me. You can turn off ads. You can straight up turn off ads. So, that's, uh, yeah, that's a big deal. And of course, like in terms of long term stuff, the revenue split is better on YouTube. It's, but they're not a bigger platform and. The streaming and browsing experience on YouTube can be janky. But... Man, Twitch has just been doing stuff lately that... It's kind of sig signaling, like... A decline on their part, and for multitude of reasons. I don't want to get into it. There's a whole discussion about it, but I'm... Just watch... How many streamers in the next month, like, in terms of large partners that are affected by this pay cut effectively make the jump to YouTube we could be seeing a shift in like the next three years so it's definitely got me thinking about you know my future here because like it's I'm not a big streamer um but like I think one thing that resonates with me is just content discoverability on Twitch was already it already had its problems with like Finding new content is, is a lot more difficult. And now it's kind of made even worse with this new push for ads that they're doing. It just... It makes the barrier to entry for someone to stick around in your stream a lot higher. And for smaller streamers, that sucks, dude. It really does. So... Um... Yeah, I've been talking about it a lot. And... Planning stuff. Um, in case you don't know more or less, like, uh, yeah, I've been talking with Lelo, and he's been offering to volunteer to help me produce some content for YouTube to go along with, like, giving it a trial run, more or less. Like, doing shorts, because those are, I guess those are in right now, and a way to get people to engage and be interested in content. You don't think the titans of Twitch will switch? I don't know. See, I used to think that, but the thing is, these titans, right? Most of them would have negotiated a the 70-30 split, right? And now, effectively, with that change they've done, um, they're getting a pay cut. Just straight up pay cut. And if YouTube were to match that revenue split, and even better, like, offer them money on top of them, like, you know, sw switching. You couldn't see XQC or Trainwreck leaving. Yeah, yeah, but, like, I consider, like, Ludwig, right? That dude was considered the golden boy of Twitch, and he even left. And I actually looked at some of the reasoning as to why he left, and, you know... It, it kind of makes sense. There's, there's a lot of stuff in there that... The, the reason that seems to be common, and I've watched a few videos on, like... Why people are making the shift, is that... Which the, with the Twitch partnership... Part of it is, like, you have... A certain number of hours you have to fulfill in terms of live streaming. And the thing is, in terms of growth, 
live streaming just doesn't help as much as it used to. Um, which explains the reason why, like, there's a lot of streamers that kind of reach a particular level and that's where they stay. It's kind of like... The thing at the moment that's the best way to do it, and a lot of the better content creators have realized this, um, that it's better to have live streaming be your supporting content and have short form and offline content be a primary way to do things. Because those are the ones that um, facilitate growth, because it's something that's accessible when you're not streaming. And, uh,. Hang One of the best ways Ludwig put it was like, let's say I was to purchase a $300,000 box of Pokemon cards and go live on Twitch and just put the stream title as opening a $300,000 box of Pokemon cards in just chatting. He he said that like you would not, you would not get any viewers basically. Like you, you get people that were around but it wouldn't be to the same extent of, like, a YouTube video that, for example, he would do that and then put the video up on YouTube because people would find it and would continue to be able to keep finding it. Not to take away from the Isaac stream, but bigger Isaac streamers like Huts and Kerbal barely stream now. I'm pretty sure they have actual jobs now because of Twitch. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not like you can't... It's not saying that Twitch isn't viable anymore. It's just, I guess... The reason Ludwig's case is so interesting is because... He's not one of these larger streamers that became large, like... Because of the way growth worked seven years ago. Or even five years ago. He, like, grew in 2019 and 2020. So, like, he kind of had to deal with, like, discoverability issues, which a lot of people who are smaller streamers now have to deal with. And most of the, the newer, larger streamers are kind of echoing the sentiment as just... There's nothing wrong with the live streaming thing. It's just... If you want to truly grow, like... Live streaming only does so much now, and the way people consume content, more or less, is, is short form. Because there's just too many people streaming at once now, it's like... Something like six million people. TikTok did that, yeah. Wait, where is this? Oh, there it is. What a weird map. Anyway, it's, it's definitely got me thinking, so... Oh, this again. This was a weird item. But alright, I'll try it. So yeah, I mean, the, the gist of it is, I am going to try do some stuff on YouTube. So far, all the regulars that I've talked to about this, they've been very supportive and have said, you know, they'll watch me regardless of what platform I go to. So that's, that's honestly, that's one of the bigger concerns I had, was just kind of going there and feeling like I'm starting again slash feeling alone, which not a great feeling. And the, the other, the other less concerning reason, I guess, is how, which I've been looking more into, and yeah, it's definitely easy. So, well, it's been reassuring hearing that. And, of course, like, Lelo offering his support has been another big thing, because that's the thing, is like, creating a bunch of content is is difficult like even with what i'm doing now where i'm like uploading vods and 
keeping a VOD archive and just making thumbnails for it and all that, it does take time and I, I do have to keep a full-time job. So. I deserve my regulars, worked hard for it for them to consistently come back. Well, thank you. Appreciate that a lot, <laughs> especially from someone that's just popped in for a little bit of a chat. That's great, dude. Uh, yeah, Lelo, Lelo's a good dude, you know. We get along and, yeah. He, he wants to look into it as well because, um, you know, he wants to stream and... Because for him, he does, he does music, right? He wanted to, uh... Like, I guess it resonated with him quite a bit as well, some of the stuff that we were reading about and looking into. Um, because that's kind of the other thing is like, if you want to try anything outside of gaming, it's a bit harder to do. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not convinced about this item. But. I, you know what, I suppose in a scenario with Book of Shadows, like, you could shield up and just run into things. That could be a good build, but on its own, eh, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Oh yeah, you no, you know what? Unicorn, you're right, yeah. Yeah, this might be a pretty good synergy. But I would have to shoot before I unicorn it would Like I'd have to start the trail and then once I have the trail, then use it. You wish I had more time or you'd drive up to visit him. Yeah. I mean it would be nice if like and I know the logistics of it are, are pretty difficult, right? <laughs> but meeting up with uh, some of you. But, you know, the viewership is split between America and Europe, and it's kind of hard. Like, either way, it's a 16 hour flight for me. <laughs> One way or another. Uh, huh. I've kind of become more of a fan of soy milk lately. And I just want to see what this... I want to see if this does anything. Okay, habit to charge it. But like, yeah, you're geographically close to Lela, which is, is an advantage. But I mean, maybe one day, you never know. Okay, I thought maybe it would cause me to grow a tail quickly, but it doesn't seem to have any effect on that, which is a little sad. So maybe I made this worse. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I, sometimes you just have to try. That's how I learnt this game, is just all a lot of trial and error. And that's why I'm able to talk about builds and theory crafting. I mean, if I get anything that's luck-based, that's what I'm hoping for. Like, a shot that just will make this worthwhile. Ipecac. <laughs> I've had that once, it was pretty funny. 
it does rip through uh, health pretty quickly. It's pretty impressive. It becomes like a machine gun. And I did it without um, immunity to explosions, which, yeah, it was pretty fun. And we're out. I <laughs> just wanted, wanted to see. Um, we're on one, so I'll wait. I like doing a full clear just in case. Do I do Eden streaks? Uh, I mean, I used to back in the day. Because I don't just stream Isaac and stick to it. Like right now, the biggest thing for me is I've. This is a fresh file that I've started off. And so I kind of wanted to do something where I'm like doing. From start to finish, completing the file. So then, I guess. In terms of YouTube content, hey, there's like a series of it that you can see everything I had to do. <laughs> to get to that point. At least that's the idea. You play too much Isaac? Yeah, I, I can relate. I, I have bought this game on PC, the original, and this one with all its DLC. Purchased it on the Vita, purchased it on Nintendo Switch. Purchase it on PS5. Like, uh, Edmund has gotten my money multiple times. Six thousand hours, damn. Yeah, I'm probably not at that extent. I mean, definitely over the thousands. Just... Yeah, this tail strategy does not work. <laughs> Maybe not for this boss, but it... Oh, you know what? Ah, oh. Oh, I see what's going on. Yeah, this is, this is not gonna work. If the tail pretty much is my tear damage, then yeah, it's pointless. <laughs> if it has its own kind of damage, then it isn't, but I'm pretty certain the reason this is doing nothing is because each of those is like, yeah, a low damage thing, so. But the interaction I was hoping for was like the tail would grow quickly because of my fire rate. Edmund retweeted your tweet, damn. Oh, okay, now we're talking, whoa, yes. Okay, visually interesting. That's what I like to see. Boo! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this shot can be very interesting. You can get it to the point where it's like has permanence on the screen. Also, the knockback one, it's pretty sick. Now we just need, like, telepathy on it. <laughs> or something like that. If you poo for a bit, you're at work. Program drones, but almost manage a vape shop. In the shop that I see, you'll probably poo from time to time. No, all good. All good. I mean, yeah, everyone does their own thing. From time to time, it'll just be pretty chill here and people are just watching. Uh, but for me, like, see, this is the thing about being an Australian streamer that is a little bit on the sad side is kind of like, if I want to catch the Americans, I have to stream very, very early. If I want to catch the Europeans, I have to stream very, very late. It's just, I can't win either way. But yeah, I mean, this will probably be my last run, as I do have to try and get some sleep. What time is it? It's just past 2 a.m., but... Um, yeah, I'll be okay, as I work from home, so I don't have to do the early morning commute, so... I will, I will get my solid amount of sleep in.
definitely wish you could watch more when you move back to the West Coast. Pretty much lost opportunity to watch. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay. Um, also, the winter time zone in Australia, or at least the East Coast, um, it's, it's definitely worse for American viewers. So I know this already. But then, um, I think it's really soon, actually. It'll go back to summer. Um, and then the time zones will align a little better for America. So, it'll be a, a bit better. But, I mean, as part of the whole YouTube thing, um, I've definitely been considering, like, because it's sort of like a clean start, like, trying to aim the streams a little bit more favorable to Americans. Not to say that I'm going to rule out Europeans, it's not at all, like, it's just, I guess, now that I know, just, I, I have knowledge on what times are best. And I wouldn't be going overboard with YouTube streaming anyway. So. It's one of these things where if... If I have all my regulars watching me there, which is which would already be a huge start. And then somehow I can see, like, some form of growth because of the YouTube shorts I'm doing. Then, um... It's clearly better than Twitch for me. So that's what I'm hoping... To find out the answer to. Majority of my viewers are from an A. Um, it's sort of equally split. 50-50. Half are North American and half are European, I would say. I can count the number of Australians on one hand that actively watch me. It fluctuates. So, it also depends what time of day I stream. I'll take this with me. Shot speed up. <laughs> I mean, this does make this more interesting. Like, they travel across the screen faster. Yeah, well, I'm kind of- I'm kind of keen to try it. It's definitely gotten me... I guess, like, a little bit of, uh, energy to kind of try it. Cause it's not- it's not just streaming, so... And if it did work out, it would be a case of where I would, I guess, not stream as much. So, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, you know what I should do? Oh, never mind. It's not even there. Disregard. Of course it's not there. <laughs> the dream is this being a full-time job. Would you believe that not really? As strange as that might sound, um... If, look, if I can make it a job in the sense that I can... Okay, not just survive from it. Not just survive from it, because there's a difference, right? But, like, be able to live the same way I do, where I have comforts and... ...disposable income. Then, yeah, that would be great, but... I'm, I'm realistic in that sense because a very low percentage of people get to that point. And you know, I'm not one that hates my job or what I do. Like, I'm, I'm in the industry that I studied for. And, you know, I, I do what I do on a daily basis and I enjoy it. However, the one thing that I guess to, to me would be appealing is just take this. It's creative expression. That's that's what it comes down to, is like... With my job... I care about what I do, and I try to make things 
the best to my ability, right? And I take pride in that and others. However, at the end of the day, if like, let's, and this doesn't happen just to be crystal clear. If there was like some decision to be made and I had to compromise on like what I believe in, in terms of how things should be done, I guess it wouldn't hurt as much because it's kind of like I'm working on a, a product at the end of the day and the ownership isn't mine. And like, to some extent, I can't go crazy with creativity because in the back of my mind, I'm kind of thinking about stuff like, well, this has to be viable from a point of view of like people act. The people that work on the stuff needs to actually be able to build it and in a good time frame, right? And then I need to think about like how people perceive it. You know, at the end of the day, I'm still proud of my output. It's just taking risks and being creative and doing something that I guess otherwise I wouldn't do. I don't get that opportunity. I used to when I was a junior designer, like that was one cool thing that I do miss is you create. But then as you get into a more senior position, it like you create less. That's just a sad reality for a lot of people is just, you know, they companies want you to manage and they want you to. uh Yeah, anyway, there's the ads again. OK, I'll wait. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh my god, this is horrible. The ad thing. I don't know what I can do, but... If you've put up with them, I really do appreciate it. I'm sorry. I might dig around the settings and see if I can make them less, but... All signs point to doubt. <laughs> I'll see if I can dumb them down. That's honestly a, a big reason why I'm considering YouTube, is I can turn the ads off. <laughs> that, that, that is such a- that is such a big deal. That was a lot of ads. Yeah, after the stream is up, I'm definitely gonna see what I can do. Um... Even if it's something where, like, I, at the start of the stream, if I have to, like, straight up hit the ad roll button multiple times just to guarantee that people don't see ads for a while, I'll do it. I'll just, I'll, I'll try and make the viewing experience as best as I can. But, yeah, that's, that's not good. And it, it's making me, like, think that this, uh, trial on YouTube is more urgent than I think it is. Um, which, by the way, I've, I've kind of got, like, a, a timeline internally of when I want to try it, so. But anyway, going back to the conversation, um, yeah, I mean, ultimately, you, you stop, you stop creating, and, yeah, I do miss creating. Um, so, to me, I do this as an, as my creative outlet, because, like, I try to do everything myself, so, for example... My BRB screens and overlays, they're a program that I, I wrote um, with JavaScript, right? It's like custom. I could have very well kept it simple and made graphics in Photoshop or something. But no, I made it interactive. I made it something that I can open on a mobile device and make it trigger different things. Like, I had fun with that. And I streamed some of that, which was cool. But... On Twitch, I guess at the time, programming wasn't big. It's a bit bigger now, but... Yeah. It's cool to do that. So, if streaming were to be a full-time thing for me, I guess that would be the thing, is, like, I would have to be in a position where... I have no doubt that to do to do streaming on a, on a full-time basis, I would have to compromise a little, and I would be completely transparent about that. I'd be like... Okay, listen, listen, this is, this is something that some people might find annoying, but I'm doing this particular thing because it funds what I do, and I would only do it because, like, I, to some degree, believe in it, 
Like, for example, I wouldn't do something like, oh, yeah, G Fuel. Yeah, get, get that G Fuel. Buy yourself a chair while you're at it. Like, it, it wouldn't be something like that. Um, but as long as, like, I feel like I'm creating something and, you know, I've built a community that I'm proud of, to be honest, which I am already, right? Like, I'm proud of what I've done, but it, it's more like that feeling has to remain all throughout, like... If at any point it just doesn't feel right, like, I, I would have hate that I would have given up my current job to do that. Would I look for sponsors or just be transparent? That's a good question. I haven't really thought about it. Um, I mean, where possible, I would try not to, but... If, like, I have a cool idea that I want to try... There's, like, a few streamers that I look up to that try stuff, like... I mean, German985, like, that guy... Very nice dude. But... To do some of the stuff he does, like, he's definitely had to have sponsors, like... That, uh, real-life sim stream he did, for example, that was such a cool idea. And for the most part, he, like, tries to, um... Do it all himself, but sometimes, like, just to do that, he just had to... Have a sponsor. And... He tried to make it something that, you know, wasn't scummy. Right? So, that would be the thing. Okay, so like, <laughs> it would be the same with get getting CD keys off uh, companies, for example, to get early access to games to like review them or stream them. I wouldn't do such a thing with like, for example, Square Enix, who will, this is insane, but like recently the last thing they did was uh, they wanted streamers to thank Square Enix like every 10 minutes on stream. Like, I would never agree to that, ever. Or anything remotely close to that, where, like... If I have this feeling of, nah, this isn't right, like, I won't do it. Because viewers will- viewers will pick up on that, like, they'll know- The one thing about me is, you will tell- you can tell with my tone of voice when, like, I'm not enjoying something. And I'm- I'm vocal about it, like, I'll be like, I'm genuinely not liking this. And so I, I'll stop doing it, or won't do it at all. You'd sell it if they pay you a ton, but not enough to bug me, you viewers. Yeah, and I guess that's the thing. It's kind of like... Up to the point where I need to make that leap. To make this something where it's like my livelihood. And it's my only source of income. I wouldn't consider any of it. Because, like, again, my job is, is fine, right? Like, it supports me. It lets me live comfortably. It's flexible that I can do this kind of stuff on the side. So, it's good. But, I guess the moment when it becomes a thing about, like... Oh, I accidentally did that. Unfortunately, that's what it gave me. When it becomes a thing about doing it on the full time... And wanting to do new ideas, right? Because it's like... I think a really appealing thing about content creation is... Just, if you have a cool idea you want to try, you can try it, and maybe a lot of people will be into it. I mean, I, I do it to some extent on a small scale, like, sometimes I'll have a cool idea for a stream, and I'll put effort into it and go, like, prepare for it. The most recent one being where I went back and played some of the old DOS games I had on my computer, and one of them was, uh, in... In the 1990s, McDonald's Australia produced interactive CD-ROMs. And they gave them out in Happy Meals, and so I had- I had that CD. And the culture shock and just, I guess, the value that it was in the 1990s, it was a fun stream. So. You know. Just a small example of something I did on a small scale, but like, being able to do stuff on a large scale, like how... I guess Germa is the example I brought up, where... You know, he did that- that stream where it was a real-life version of The Sims. Like, that to me is- is cool, and if- 
if I'm doing this on a full-time basis, I'd be wanting to do that sort of stuff. And be surrounded with people that want to do that kind of stuff. And that's, yeah, that's like a massive long shot. <laughs> massive long shot. But, you know, you gotta try. I guess just up until this point, I've kind of n not really gone as far as I could have. But, you know, that's that's me. That's on me. <laughs> oh, no. Why, why am I constantly getting explosives? <laughs> that, that was not cool, dude. What's another explosive item it could give me? I've gotten the bomb, I've gotten... That item. Like, two explosives. What, what's a third one I could get? <laughs> oh. Anarchist cookbook. Yeah, okay. I swear if it gives me that, like, it's someone clip it, please. <laughs> it's one of those eerie times where I predict exactly what's about to happen. Because of course it's going to happen. Cookbook showed up earlier, right, but I mean from, uh... Using the Dead Sea Scrolls. But yes, I mean, technically I have gotten the Anarchist Cookbook. I just meant, like, the first time I used Dead Sea Scroll, it was the bomb. Second time was, like, the dummy Isaac that explodes. I will laugh if the third time is the cookbook. That would be... ...unprecedented. <laughs> just... Oh, just anything that explodes, you know? Oh, okay. It's okay. I'm not sure if this is gonna end up hurting me. Guess we'll see. Oh, no. I'm backing out. Nope. Too annoying. So, yeah. I mean, I've, I've been very chatty about this stuff, but you can tell how much this has been on my mind the past few days. So. I'm still brainstorming about what to do. You just sold a weight scale to some crack dealers for sure. Oh, were they asking some uh, inconspicuous questions? <laughs> okay, it wasn't explosive, so we're fine. Yes, ah, uh, that's always funny. Oh, you can spot out the type? Okay, that's fair. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, I mean, don't ever, don't ever think it. Pretty much is, is the lesson. A bad, that's gonna destroy all my health, which is not a good idea. But it does add fear shot. But yeah, congrats on the, uh, the clean years.
Uh... Hold on, I'm thinking. Would fair shot be beneficial? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it won't be. Like, it, he's... Delirium is just gonna teleport and, yeah, it's, it's not it's not gonna work. We'll be scared for a minute and then do the teleporting animation and it's not gonna matter. Okay, anyway. But, yeah, I mean... The streaming stuff around YouTube, I'll definitely, like, have a more formal discussion about it on stream. Once I've laid the plans properly and it's kind of a thing that's gonna happen. Whereas in right now, it's kind of just... Brainstorming, thinking, planning... On how it could look like, so... I don't want to talk about it, but... Expect it at some point. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about this lack of damage. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, well, I mean... Bookworm at the very least, I guess. The problem is it's going to prolong the fight, which I don't particularly want, but... I didn't really think about this. I was hoping for... Oh, there's a stapler there. Hang on, how would this work? Wait, Bible, Bible, Bible! <laughs> Bible! <laughs> Bible! It's alright, you don't need to think. Okay, there we go. And this lets me get in here. Oh, not that it was an issue anyway. Solid. I probably should have checked that third one, but it's cool. This has to give me something useful, come on. <laughs> this stream is great. It's a little bizarre that it kind of... It starts off pretty thick and then it sort of... Becomes thin? It's really weird. It's almost like a... like a flame. Okay, uh, let's go this way. Hopefully it's correct. I stood there too long. Oh wait, I was shielded. Never mind. I thought I lost. Yeah, I'm worried. If this is my output, Delirium's gonna be a tough fight. The problem is he moves around too much and I get the feeling it's gonna drag the fight out too long. So I guess hopeful Libra slash Ipecac. Or just something. It's okay. It's okay.
Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, classic, good. I open a trap door for him. He'll he'll pop right down. Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. I think when it deflects a shot, it's doing way more than me. Uh, okay, there we go. Wait a minute. Ah. Eh, whatever, that's something. That's kind of lucky. Okay. Here we go. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Also, if we get ex immunity to explosions, that's another avenue. But this is gonna be cool. Oh, you know what? I think this is a GG build, actually, because I think... It sticks around longer, and causes more damage. I think this may have just won me the run. The heck is this? <laughs> I don't know what- okay. I'm pretty sure this, this has won me, won me the run. Just straight up, because... It makes this shot type function better. So it does more consistent damage. I mean, okay, I probably was gonna win anyway, it's just now, like, I'm feeling more comfortable about Delirium. Like, watch- okay, watch the damage output now. So that was, like, a couple seconds, and now watch now. Yeah, dude. Yep. That's it. Like, 100%. That's... So, there's something to be said about this shot if it travels through too quickly through an enemy. It just reduces its effectiveness. So, I guess if you have a high fire rate, it's probably not a good shot type. Alright, good to know. Good to know. Now, I, I just really, really gotta hope that it lets me go to Delirium. Because if it doesn't, that's gonna be sad. Alright, let's do it here, because these dudes... Uh-uh. Yeah, look at that. That's... So much better. I also do appreciate that this is acting like a torch. No, turn that on. Oh. I'm, I mean, I guess this is kind of neat.
Man, this fly, even after the nerf, it's still really good. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, I guess. Oh, right, they have this new transformation now. Wait, what? Did that- hold on. Is this a synergy that I'm unaware of? Hold up. That could be a fluke or this is a synergy. I want to stress test this. Ha! Huh. So, if you have the- I don't know what this is called, but you know, this radiant crap and you have this, that's what your poops become. That's an interesting one. Again, not gonna take it over telepathy, but it's cool. Money equals power. Awesome. Yes! Good stuff. No delirium portal. Oh no. Oh, please, please tell me that I get to do this. I'm going to be very sad if I don't. That's interesting. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I mean, more visually interesting. I, I like builds that are visually interesting. Not to the point where they're completely insane, but like, this is still relatively simple looking. Very good. Judgment. Oh no, I shouldn't do that. It's gonna reduce my damage. Don't, don't, don't. This makes this so much more cooler. Okay, I am protected. Okay, now I can go back and try it. I mean, why not? Yay! I mean, more health. It's cool. I'll get that money back, more or less. Yeah, I mean, look, it's fine. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, does this... Oh, dude. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we, we might have something crazy broken here. And then when you combine that with telepathy, are you kidding me? Please let this continue. Alright, let's... Let's do it. Okay, the evil eye- the evil eye is just straight up gonna carry. 
<laughs> like, look at this. Okay, telepathy as well. Like, that was the GG item, clearly. Like, this... It turned this build around. Like, it was already alright. But it just gave it that extra level right there. Like... I can't even see what, <laughs> what I'm shooting at. Okay, watch this. Oh, I destroyed it. I was standing in that... That radiant poop for a little bit. could not tell what I was being hit by, to be honest. Please let it continue. Okay, the one downside to this is it makes dodging really difficult. The fly has to carry, the one that's destroying the projectiles. The screen is completely purple. Okay, please, 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 50, 50, 50, please, 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 please. Yes, okay. This is happening. <laughs> Good. Okay. Home stretch. See, when you ask politely, the game gives you exactly what you want. It's that simple. Um, they may as well use it. It's gonna give it back anyway. I mean, at this point, I should just go march towards the end. It doesn't matter. Don't get me wrong, I'll try. Oh, right. Um, how do we do this without... Ah, there we go. Another double room, may as well turn it on. Mental. Sure. <laughs> well, at least we're gonna end on a high note either way. Like, it doesn't matter if I win or lose. This is a great build. It is a little bit of a liability in terms of dodging projectiles, but, you know. Just don't get hit. It's okay. Okay. 
nice. <laughs> Honestly, if I didn't have Sci-Fly or, uh, like, this ring around me, I feel like I'd be in trouble. As good as the damage is, like, it doesn't kill quickly, but... I have enough defense to protect me from, uh, projectiles that, yeah... It's not mattering too much. Turn it on. The brownie. Okay. Put it away. I'm just thinking, like, what else could make this insane? I mean, if I could get built-in telepathy, that'd be cool. Oh, nope, don't want that room. I mean, Holy Light would be awesome. I do have decent luck. Just having it, like, drop beams of light when it hits, that'd be pretty good. Oh yeah, double room, just hit it. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Oh, dude. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Just this ocean of purple. It's definitely not doing as much damage as I was like, but it's, it's visually impressive. Can't deny that. It's honestly a Christmas miracle I haven't been hit by, like, one of the shots. But then again, Sci-Fly. What a champion. Technically took took a hit there. <laughs> oh, dude. Wait, what? Oh, that distracted me so much. I thought he was dead. I was like, what? That's too soon. I don't know, I used the telepathy book a second time, because why not? Alright, GG. Fun build. I would say if you want to try this for yourself, there's the seed. It's been on screen for a few seconds. So it's not lost to time. More or less. I mean, you can do the same thing I did, but choose not to pick up the soy milk. Be a pretty decent run. But, I mean, the soy milk makes this interesting.
Oh yeah, right, you get Eucharist. And that's that's that character done, right? Yes. Alright, so that's Maggie done, so. We got two characters done tonight. Good progress. So, I mean, I'm getting there. It's almost time to... <laughs> it's almost time. <laughs> Not yet. Alright, chat, this is where I'm going to leave it for tonight. Uh, I've been up a little later than I should have, but hey. I hope you did enjoy the stream, as I didn't stream yesterday. I was deep in thought about this whole YouTube and Twitch thing, so. I did a little bit of extra tonight, so. Appreciate you all for hanging out.